Welcome, everyone, to a Delco Nerd Network Rewind Review, where we sit down and discuss some of our favorite film franchises of the past. On this season, we have been discussing the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This episode, we are talking about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. Yeah, number one, part one. First, only one to have. I feel like this kind of started the parts thing, or, or was that Twilight, or was that... Hunger Games. Uh, like breaking the last two movies into parts. Tough call off the top. I, think right? I would say this. I feel right? like this was the it's, first it's one the, I remember. It's in the beginning, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Either way, this was released initially in November 11th of 2010 with a rating of PG-13. Back to the PG-13. With a production budget of about a hundred... See, the production budget was confusing me. Because this was filmed at the same time as part two. <clears throat> so I guess they just split what the production budget was for both of them in half. So this one was $125 million. Uh, with as, an as was the next one? I or, think so. Okay. So like I didn't look into it. But, uh, I, I should have probably looked at that. Um, but I was like, that seems really low, even just for this movie. Like the other one... 250 for the last one. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, uh, that, that kind of blew my mind. But uh, and that's what makes me assume they saved money by filming them yeah. both at the same yeah. time and then making it almost a probably $300 million thing. Mm. But yeah, with an opening weekend of $125.1 million, so they made back at least the production budget, not wow. including marketing. On that one, and then with a worldwide box box office of nine hundred and fifty one point seven million, oh, so shit. getting close to that bill. Uh, directed once again by David Yates, with the original novel written by J.K. Rowling and the screenplay by Stephen Cloves. So yeah, he I think he wrote the next one. Well, yeah, he wrote both of these. Yeah. He did almost every one of these movies. That kind of blows my mind. Cloves. Uh, He's sitting pretty. He is. He must be. And then here with the old IMDb description. As Harry, Ron, and Hermione race against time and evil to destroy the Harcroxes, they uncover the existence of the three most powerful objects in the wizarding world, the Deathly Hallows. How do we feel about that description? Yeah. Not that, see, well, that's the thing. Much. I feel like the only one that's really stood out to me was Chamber of Secrets, where it was like an ultimate evil yeah. has been released, blah, blah, blah. But guys, let's just get right into the review. What did we think of the Deathly Hallows? You didn't introduce one? us. Oh, I didn't. Just that's do it real what, quick. Just no, do it it's real funny because that's what quick. threw me off at the beginning. I was like, "What am I missing here?" He forgets his name. Yeah, so yeah. What's, what's my name? Of course, Jack? coming in as always, co-hosting with me, Mr. Anthony Gucci Raguchi. It's nine eleven. We're talking about a post nine eleven movie here, guys, folks. Well, this is it. We're <laughs> recording this on nine eleven. I should. I should clarify. We're not. Is that, is that the one you had in the chamber? Did no. <laughs> you really, <laughs> no. Casey Wellman once again coming back. Here lies Dobby, a free <laughs> motherfucking elf. God. Man. Why did you have to do that to me? I'm and Mr. Matthew Penza, guys, thank you for, for getting me back on the intro. It's funny, because you saw me stumble at the beginning there. I was like, no, I, I'm I didn't. missing I didn't. Well, I, 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 I caught like, that you missed it, I just but I was, missed I was waiting for you. Who are you? Maybe oh, yeah, and I'm Christopher Trio. I don't know if I'm yeah, Mr. Trio. Yeah, 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 I do. Cheers. You forgot to introduce yourself. It's all right. That was probably my best intro ever. But, guys, let's get into it. The review. Gooch, what did you think of the Deathly Hallows Part 1? We've hit our low point, boys. We've, low hit, point. Uh, we've hit our low point. I don't remember this movie being as nearly as boring as it is. It's bookend very nicely from the front and the back. But the middle? Not not a lot going on. A lot of setup. It almost uh, feels like this movie could have just been one. We could have trimmed a lot of a part one, stuck it on part two, and it could have been like three hours and 20 minutes, and I don't think anyone would have complained. Uh, I was, yeah, I was really surprised of just how boring this, this movie kind of is. How, like, just nothing really happens compared to all the other ones. I'm just like, I was a little underwhelmed. I hear this you. One. Yeah. yeah it's, I feel like it's almost deceiving how much you get in this because of how kind of boring it is in the middle. But uh, anything else, Gooch? No. Mr. Casey. I feel Robert, like I've, uh, what do you think? I've set a low bar here. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of digesting that response because I get it. Yeah. I do. Um, I think this one is the biggest shift thus far. Like it's it's so different than being basically removed from Hogwarts. Yeah, it, it almost without the characters, it doesn't feel like a Harry Potter movie per se. Like this is kind of a big. It's a big change. So uh, as I was watching, you know, knowing what I know about the books and all that, like I feel like they only went for the exciting parts of the book in this movie, which is interesting to hear you call it boring because like it, they trimmed a lot of fat just to make it work for the screen and like progress through this one I, I thought um 
like we'll get into it, but like the ministry scene, like that's a rapid pace to get to that point. Where in the book, like it's like there's a whole it feels like a whole and, shit and also, ton of planning and whatnot that goes into it. And get I it barely remember this movie besides the end. Okay, yeah, yeah, notable, but yeah, um, like like the whole, like most of the ending. Yeah, um, I, I like this one <clears throat> just in general because probably because it's the the beginning of the end. Like sure. I, I, I was excited for this one was coming out. I like watching it every time I do watch it. Um, more so than six in particular, but like, hmm. um, I enjoy it. I think it's a big step for the, the actors, like really kind of start being more adult, like in my there's, opinion, there's a lot like, of conflict with the, the trio in this. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah. mean, I feel like that's what the movie kind of revolves around, especially mm-hmm. with Ron. Um, like they're, they're kind of all like, fuck, like not like, is this worth it? But they're like, they're having like their breaking moments between like, is the, is all this, what we're going through worth it? Like, yeah, that's, that's pretty true to like what it, uh, the, the source material, you know, right. like that's a, it's a very like frustrated se- entry. Like they're all, what the fuck's going on? Why don't we have a plan? If this is the plan, what the fuck is it about? You yeah. Know, and we're sense. now we're yeah. on the run yeah. the entire yeah. film. I, I guess in summary, like I, I really like this one. I enjoy it just, you know, for what it is. I, I, we're so far into the movies at this point that like, Anything that wasn't included can't do anything about it. It's the last movies, you know, in the series. So like, I'm, I just kind of try to take this one as how do they wrap it up? And I think overall, it's a pretty good uh, penultimate. Yeah, penultimate. Good, yeah. good word. Good Thank word. You. So, I like you know, it. I, like I enjoyed it. it. Yeah, yeah. Penzo, what did you think? Um, I think it is. I mean, it's it's still good. I think it's tough. Because I kind of get what Gucci's saying. It's like you think it's it's boring, but there's so much going on. Right. It's interesting. Um, I don't know. I think it's I, I think for me personally, it's like middle of the pack for these movies. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, it was it would tough for me to put it in the middle because I feel like all the other movies' plots are like so much stronger and so much more interesting. And I think this is like it like it just falls in a weird place. Like yeah, it's, it's not really its fault. And I bet the book is a lot better because they don't. I think a major issue of this movie for me is the pacing. It, 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 I feel like it ramps up very heavily at the beginning, and it really kind of hits the ground up running. Really hard, it and then it down. fucking hits a like break when they hit the the, the forest for me. Mm. And then I just am like, it, I know they're talking about important things, and I I kind of have realized that on this viewing where I'm like, oh, this is like big stuff, yeah. and I'm like, ah, yeah. oh, fuck, I did not really realize it but I, I also am with Gooch in the way of I remember this being kind of I don't have much memory of this movie and we saw this together in the theaters so <laughs> midnight midnight yeah. viewing I think this end part though yeah but yeah, and I, I can't and imagine and Penza cool I think was there remember midnight viewing it's Dumbledore hey guys we had to cut in here really quick Mr. Penza wasn't feeling so great so we, we sent him home just to feel a little bit better uh, but no worries we will continue on this train of wizardry make and, you feel better yeah, yeah so I feel I, better Penza I, yeah. I think you were talking like that like the beginning ramps up, yeah, and then the end ramps pacing. down. Really, that's hard. really yeah. where I think this movie fails. But and I think it fails the content because then I didn't even realize that I was getting. Fe- and again, I think watching these movies as an adult all the way through has really made me actually pay attention to certain things and be mm. like, oh, that's what they were trying to like. Yeah, I, I, I had the same thought. I didn't know he was in this fucking Vecna? movie. No, hello. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, no, I really had no idea. Like I knew he was mentioned, but I didn't realize mm. there was like that whole me, flash I, and, to like and him you actually mentioned in the it, prison. I think it like maybe like in the in the beginning of these, you had mentioned it, that he was in. This the movie. Grindelwald, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and that, um, that one thing—the move, like—that's kind of the—that's and that's a point that really yeah. go over. Real I was quick. gonna say without like going too far into it, like having read the books, like that Grindelwald exposition in the movie, I was like, man, that was that fell flat on its yeah, face. Yeah, it's just like, really you didn't even right, understand. It's like, yeah, oh, this like, guy. That's yeah, what I was you thinking. You don't understand okay. the significance at all. Yeah, so. they really don't. That's why I, I was think a I was a little confused. generous on my review of the movie because, like, the more we we'll talk about it, but like, you know. I just had to say, like, I liked it, but no, I get what but you we'll mean. We'll get though. into like the well. This is the stuff, this is like, the entire review. This is yeah, where we go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, you start like I know. I totally get that. Because just even that, <laughs> even that comment. Oh, yeah. Matters. Sorry, Matt. No, uh, <laughs> even, even that comment, like, oh, that was boom, nice. boom. Um, just reminds me of like, fuck. They really did drop. Yeah, the balls they, and it's stuff, just so, I like, had no idea. I was like, oh, he's actually. It, that's what f- I remember <laughs> them mentioning his name, but I did not realize <laughs> there was actually a flash to Voldemort like interrogating him. Have you watched the Fantastic Beasts? 
I've watched the first one. Okay. So, so like, you I know, know, I know the premise yeah, yeah, of yeah, 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 what yeah. he's doing. Yeah. Is that how we turn lends, from Johnny Depp to Matt like, Mickelson? Yeah, his yes. role in the original series lends to him. Like, the he was kind of like the first the Voldemort in a way, right? In a yeah, way, like he uh, had yeah, like, similar ideas on yeah, magical versus... similar, like the great power, great yeah. evil power in the world. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Like he's the predecessor, so, so to speak. Like, is, like has Fantastic... We won't get too much in the weeds on this, but is that like the story of that first Great Wizarding War? It's technic- a lot of, of it. it like, yeah, it's a lot of... Uh, oh, that is the first Great Wizarding War? Or is that like... Um, uh, like See, that's the thing that confused... I didn't know if that was like the co- like the conflict happening within Fantastic Beast is the one that they're talking about within this movie? Like how he like rose... Or again, I don't even are know what they're necessarily... Do they talk about it? I'm trying to remember where they talk about it. I don't well, think I they thought do. in the movie, like, like they are taught... Like, again, that's... I'm not... I didn't quite oh, understand oh, the first when they're great, explaining The like, first what? great war is like Voldemort's initial rise. I oh, believe, okay. I believe, Maybe I'm getting like, my terms order of the Phoenix versus Right, because this the is Eaters. the second Wizarding War. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's what uh, I believe they're name. referencing when they say first. Wizarding okay, War. that makes more sense. It's Harry's parents. Sirius, and then was there like, Lupin, th- but yeah. did Grindelwald start like a like a thing he as was well? Like decades way back. Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, all right, like, all right. like so that's like the focus of the Fantastic Beast movies. Makes sense. Is set with the backdrop of Grindelwald's rise, rise to power. power. Newt is like the the, the medium got that it, they, got they it. tell that story. That through makes sense. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. Again, that we're just I just wish they explained that yeah, not even exactly. all that you get you get stuff, zero significance from that yeah. from the way the movie tells that. And they yeah. really do hide the bag that they're like lovers or whatever. Like there's really no even sort of illusion it to that. It makes you wonder how much of that was, was actually like, like retroactively yeah, exactly. yeah, kinda, retconned kind of yeah. deal like yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. It's her she can do whatever she wants to her series. Sure. I thought it was interesting seeing like the Dursley ship out at the beginning, so they know what's happening. So th- that was my question. Right? It seems does yes. Lo- like does yeah. London know that like like the magical world is like attacking them? Like I like the Dursleys leaving their home kind of indicates well, that the Muggles yeah. or at the, least they know. So the Dursleys are leaving their home specifically because it's their home under threat. It's not like the whole Muggle world is. In but they a panic. like totally move out. It's not that like, well, no, yeah, yeah, they we'll have pack to, our they bags have to leave because I mean what Voldemort knows where he's at, I assume there, right? Like he knows that's his yeah, home. So like least. they know so Harry we talked about this a little while ago, if you remember, um Harry's protected at the Dursleys as long as he stays there until he's seventeen and that's when like the protection of charm I right. like his mother's, his mother's protection breaks when he turns 17. Like, he becomes an it. adult in the Wizarding World. So the Dursleys were protected there, too, because it, just, it was Harry's home. It was a protected space. So I, I forget who initially convinced them. I think it might just be like Harry being like, hey, you got to get out of here. It's going to be fucking crazy. That like, makes sense, yeah. But, right, but he doesn't. Yeah. I wish he kind of said that in the movie. Yeah, I, I yeah. did like, kind of like... Then he's just standing there, and they're leaving, and it makes it seem like... They're like running because of him, but it's not like he's warning them. I definitely think something that fly and it's just a matter of not being a book is that flies under the radar is that whole protection idea, like yep. from the like you real. They kind of just expect you as an audience member to just be like, he's safe there. Yeah. You don't necessarily know why. Because yeah. do they ever really kind of say that in the movies? As far as I remember, they don't. That's what explicitly I was so, say. It's kind of you have to bridge that gap. Yeah, of like, that's, he goes and, there because he's safe. And they probably do, and I'm misremembering. No, for sure. But, well, but like, even like, I'm, that's what I was trying to even think back from when we were reviewing the first ones. I feel like I kind of had a similar question. Because they, mm-hmm. I think they do just kind of go like, well, he's safe there. But right. Right. Uh, another thing I was kind of con- like, it, it made sense to me, kind of her giving that almost knowing look to Harry out the window. That was enough. I kind of gathered what Petunia? you're saying. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah it seemed yeah. like she was really like freaked the fuck out, yeah. which I, I liked a lot. But I do see what you're saying, Gooch, too. It would have been nice to kind of have that moment. With that scene. So I don't know what versions you guys watched, but like, did they have how, what kind of like goodbyes did they have? Between yeah, they just are, he's just basically packing the car. And they, they're and just packing, Dudley, yeah, like and they're packing the car, and Harry's kind of staring out the window at them. Does he talk to Petunia in whatever version? No, you watch because like they, uh, there's an extended cut. They give us a deleted scene where, and the book goes more into it, obviously, like everything. So forgive me as I say that no, a hundred times, no, but yeah. um, there's like scenes where I can't forget Harry talks. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on it, but Harry like <laughs> talks to Petunia, and she kind of like is you know you you didn't just lose a mother that day, like I lost a sister, like. Really, kind of like no, they, they're connect- in the they're in the yeah. car and they're fucking going. yeah. Like there's a, so there's like a lot more connection in certain scenes, like deleted scenes or extended versions. Yeah. Like there's a lot more like they kind of tie Nuanced. it up ni- nicely where it's like, hey, we still have all this history and baggage and whatnot, but like, I am your aunt, you you are my ne- my do- my sister's son, like shit like that. Like and then yeah. Dudley, actually in a deleted scene and in the book, like comes up to Harry and uh, when they're packing the car out front, that scene they do show. There's like a couple. You know, it's like a minute or two after. Yeah. It's like the deleted scene where uh, Dudley's like, 
why is Harry not coming with us? Like in a very dumb official yeah, voice, yeah. like how he does, like in like five when you see him, he's like sure. a fucking moron. But and, and <laughs> he deserved Vernon's it. like he doesn't yeah. want to, right, boy? To Harry, and he's like, yeah, I'm a waste of space, aren't I, Vernon? And Dudley comes over like from the car and sticks his hand out and shakes Harry's hand. He's like, I don't think you're a waste of space. Like in the most ran- you know, like a road, I, I, like that's very really random. kind. But it's it's like a because he's been such a shithead. Yeah, and I guess like it's interesting because. I didn't think of it as like, wow, that's a total 180. I thought of it as like, wow, that's kind of like Dudley's just got this attitude about him. But at the end of the day, like he still looks at Harry as his cousin. He, yeah, like, he's still a family he, member. And I think that's their way of making sure, like him realize like the situation. Like, hey, this is so serious. Like, like he might die. Yeah, like, like, he, like, like he, doesn't, knows he doesn't the, know what's going on, but he knows like whatever's happening is like really important. So, you know, and that scene, I like that scene. I wish they kept it in. Yeah, it, that but, sucks. That that feels like a real missed yeah. opportunity within the movie, especially for yeah. some things that were included and I can't really I guess I can't think of anything specifically right now that I'd be like mm. cut that for that yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah no that seems like a there's very some filler space aspect. in the forest that you yeah that I feel like you kind of maybe oh there's two a lot of meat there. in the forest yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some, some, I don't know but yeah. that seems like a yeah a bit of a missed a, opportunity it was a big for sure. addition for like the character but Dudley doesn't ultimately matter for sure in like yeah. the way they've painted him yeah I guess it's it's true it's like that it would it's nice to kind of have that bit of closure it yeah. would have been cool to see it, but I guess it's really not majorly ch- changing an aspect. Right, right. Just but, something uh, as a fan, I appreciate. Yeah, and that you know didn't get, but for sure, I also really liked uh, Voldemort's introduction. Just of Snape walking first off. That, oh right, is that is that the second scene or the first scene? I think so. Second, I think it's the second. Dude, the fucking uh, <sighs> Lucius, raggedy oh, he's great, fuck. Yeah. Like J- I, Jeremy I, Isaacs? Is that his name? What's his name? Uh, Oscar, Oscar, no, 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 not, not Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Um, I was just Isaac, seeing right? it the other. Hold on. Well, while you're looking that up, yeah, Jason like, Isaacs. Jason like he, Isaac. like you really Jason get this like Irons. almost mm-hmm. downfall of the the Malfoy family in this mm-hmm. movie, and I'm not really even sure why. You're seeing like the, the, like well, Lucius, you're seeing the unraveling. They're just like like the, Lucius the pressure, is kind of yeah. losing it. Yeah. You're well, the you can see that Voldemort's did, putting on them. Exactly, right. and they only follow him out of fear. He said that in the, in the fourth one, even like they're really doing it because they're just like at the end of the day. Well, I'm gonna do this because he's gonna kill me if I don't. Yeah. But I also want to do a quick special shout out to that gate effect when Snape's walking in. I really liked it. The like, he, like, effect? he makes this gate like <laughs> yeah, he like yeah. whips up and then the gate becomes like mist almost, and he just walks through yeah. it and it comes back together. I'm like very Snape entrance. It's great. The dark. It's so good, and him walking up. Prince doing his absolutely, thing. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I thought that was a great part. But yeah. uh and then you just come up to this dinner table of just a muggle just sitting there. And it's yeah. a and we find out which I didn't know, it's a it's the muggle studies professor. Mm-hmm. And it's weird, like mm-hmm. Draco like has most likely had classes with yeah. this absolutely. person. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. she she does she no to Snape. To and Snape, Snape yeah. obviously being a colleague, and I'm like, whoa. And they're both kind of just like Please. Well, Snape obviously has the mask up, but Draco's like Torn up. What am I doing here? Yeah, why <laughs> is this happening? Uh, yeah. Like, like fuck. visibly frightened. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And as even, he has been. Right. No, for sure. And even just the f- effect of her sitting there, like that scream that you kind of hear, and he's like, keep her quiet. Wormtail, I love how he's just really just gone to the, like, he's just like, he's just the, do a he, fucking he's thing. He's like a house elf. He is. Uh, uh, but he a person. Is, he is yeah. a house elf, but a person. Uh, <laughs> fucking beta dude he really is he's as beta as you can be beta i hate him (laughs) he is a beta no i i thought that whole scene and just setup of intro of him like for this last two movies were like oh yeah he's not fuck he is he is truly an absolute piece of shit in nagini they really don't reference that that's a person at all huh not at all like so and i don't even remember from my readings of it like i have no no context that Nagini I don't, was like yeah, an animagus. I don't animagus. think there was anything that, yeah, and I, it's not, so she's not an animagus, it's like a different term because she can transform back. Well, not no, anymore, No, no, right? she, you, like, it's, it's involuntary as, like, a wizard, I forget what the t- condition is, but whatever she has, you're a human, or a wizard, I guess, but you involuntarily change into whatever this animal is, and you, like, or maybe you can control it in the beginning, but you lose the ability to control it, and you lose the ability, ultimately, to revert back into your human form. So, so she's yeah. a human who was stuck as a snake, as like they reveal in Fantastic Beasts, is kind of like her yeah, a little background story. But you know, but I mean, again, it's like stuff. Where it doesn't. That is, it literally doesn't come up in the books I that I remember. Know. So like, it's that's just an added change detail. Yeah, that snake, that scene of her. I totally forgot about that house scene too, with, mm-hmm. that she's like the old lady, and, and then she gets things. eaten. Yeah, but yeah. the bag shot. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was a wild book scene. That's though. the uh, that's the house that they've been in, right? Which that, one? What. The house that they're they're meeting in. Oh yeah, that was Sir- well at the beginning. Yeah, Sirius's house. 
at the like that's in between. No, Were no, I'm sorry, where, but, Voldemort's Voldemort and Crew. Oh yeah, that, I could, that was that Tom the Malfoy's house? house, right? No, that's the Malfoy Malfoy Manor. Yeah, that's the uh, Malfoy. Place. That's where the end scene takes place. That, where, where's yeah. the Malfoy Manor? Where's that? Uh, Probably in England somewhere. somewhere. somewhere in England. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. I don't think they ever. Okay. Explain yeah. Where just curious. That's at. It looks yeah. very dingy and terrible to live in, to be honest. Yeah. It looks very Draco. It's got that ministry aesthetic though, the black. No, for sure. With like very like. I don't know if gothic is the term. Yeah. But like, I would say gothic, yeah. It is funny to me. It's like and a blend again, of gothic steampunk. Like something. Like no, for sure. The and order, even like the hard. 1886 or whatever. Like that kind yeah, of. Yeah, that like drab. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Just gray blocks. Yeah. yeah. No, it, I got to say like set design in these movies never really disappoints. I feel like mm. a lot of places seem very distinct or if they're, if they're supposed to look the same, that's very much on purpose. Mm. But, uh. No, that whole scene of just going through the manor, I guess getting towards the end, we won't, we won't jump into that too quick. All right. Uh, I will say, uh, I, I have some questions. stuff about that. Yeah, though. we'll like, get there. Oh, I got a ton of questions about I that have questions part. that came to mind during this about mm. the polyjuice potions. Uh-huh. Yeah, because uh, it's, a, it's a main feature in this. This is more of just a for joke. For more than a few this, people. But, like, you get everything, right? Yes, whatever you're thinking yes. right now, yes. <laughs> yeah. so There's like some weird when, freaky when, shit happening uh, in the wizard which, world. That's which, all I'm saying. Which Weasley brother is it that Donald Gleeson plays? Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 Bill, right? It's Bill or Charlie. I actually forget. I think it's, I think it's Bill. I think it's Bill, Bill. He's yeah, because it's, right? it's the first time we yeah, see Bill. Yeah, again, Bill Donald Gleeson. Yep. General Hawks, you know, for those who... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention mm-hmm. that scene. I'm glad you brought that up. The fucking all Harry scenes. I was thinking yeah. of the ministry one. Oh, and, yeah. and, and, like, and like his wife... Like is taking off, like 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 taking off her bra, yeah, wearing, dude. Like the the very sheer, yeah, like, very. Right, sh- yeah, yeah, don't look yeah, at me. Yeah. Like, the, almost looks like lingerie. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. one scene of them, like when it's panning all them and they're all like half changed, I thought was really funny. It's like yeah. Hermione with Harry's face yeah. and like Ron. Dude, got that his, makes like, me laugh no. every time with her ponytail or whatever. And it's good. It's really yeah. good. So who's this? I know we get to this short guy who steals the <laughs> Mandungus. Mandungus. Yeah, who the fuck is he? Like where, another he side just, character, right? Like he really yeah, just he, comes in and he's out. Dude, it's a, it's another one of those he matter, but his initial introduction in the books didn't matter so much that they put him in or in the, whatever earlier entry it is. But he matters ultimately for like the Horcrux and all that. Like, sure. So right. interesting. So they it's had, like, oh, he's they here had to bring him back, and it's just like okay. Well, it's, yeah. I almost Where's think you could have made bro? that like even. I guess it makes sense that it's someone they know because he would have been in there. But uh, yeah. I, I, like, yeah, it didn't feel like I was like, oh, it's Mandungus, whoever yeah. that yeah. is. He but, just uh, had to come back because of like the theft of it. No, that makes total sense. So, like, I, I, I think it lines up, and I think yeah. it actually having a base point of like, oh, you see this person. And, I, then, I and, and then we get the, the but he, he is there in the book like he is he's a, Potter, there the, a Harry in the sure. escape scene like that, that makes that's sense not made up but yeah. the, that whole escape scene I forgot how good that I just scene I just dubbed it, I'm dubbing it the battle in London aerospace <laughs> dude the can we talk about maybe it, the worst it's death cool. in this I, the one that I completely forgot I know, about. I know I know, I know yeah. Hedwig man yeah. uh, dude I, I, to- oh, I totally I totally forgot Moody dies very unceremoniously doesn't even get like a shot down dramatic scene just kind of. I didn't like. He's I dead. never like an off-screen death. That's personally. how it is, though. Like source material. It's it is just, it, okay. Yeah, All right. like Mad I didn't make it. Like it's, interesting. You know, interesting. It's, it's what happens. Like Mundungus. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I will leaves. lay the blame at J.K. Rowling. And Hedwig goes <laughs> after uh, Fenrir, right? Yeah. So I can't remember. And he gets if, in the movie. It's like she flies. She, Harry lets her out when they leave. I don't yeah. know if you notice that. Like when uh, they walk out I may before, have. before they even take off. Like Harry just lets her fly. Yeah, he just opens. Yeah. And then she comes in and just swoops and takes the vodka cadaver, right? Yeah, and eats a killing curse. Yeah. For him, but I think in the book, where's she, Crookshanks when you need her? Yeah, right. <laughs> so in the book, I think Harry's in the sidecar and Hedwig's in her cage at his feet, and it like I think damn, I'm I don't know what happens. I like I, I don't think she's free of her cage and she gets it hit just hits in her book, instead. And then, maybe like, she it. goes like I like I like, I so like I her taking the blow. I think that's I did very, too. It was like, a good was a, like sw- whether or not it happens, I can't remember. But like sure. I like it was a good way to send her it, out. It works just, like, right. Yeah, do I care about Hedwig necessarily? No, but like. She's been there. She's from been. The a, beginning. I was gonna say, yeah, it's a dude, base you, point for the series. Right. You, yeah. just, you just you, realize in this one more so and more so. Like, dude, the amount of death in this poor fucking kid's life is unbelievable. And the first movie, like, we're starting with the death. All of our deaths in Harry Potter have been very much in the last ten minutes. Yeah, mm. no, for the, sure. And now we're getting a death in the first in the first fifteen yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah. I also a, a do want to shout. <laughs> I do want to shout out all their vehicles too. Like I loved his hot sidecar. Yeah, like, we get we get it from the from the first movie. Moody's so, like yeah. full seat broom Sirius that he's sitting bug. on. Yeah. Like, I, I, I there's love some that Moody's. Yeah, he's si- he's just sitting like a person. He's like, like let's fucking of a, do it. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's almost like a yeah, like a cart. Like yeah, yeah I don't even know how to describe. Very but, cool. Uh, it's so good. I, I gotta say, the creativity when it comes to just the imagination on some like coming up with just certain things like that in these movies, mm-hmm. they really you really can't beat. 
And I guess makes you wonder who did that. Like, how do we picture Moody? Flying? Yeah, um, exactly. Because I'm assuming it's, that it's wasn't kind of like with any racing game and like a character's car. Like, no, you it's just, true. You build their personality into what mm-hmm. you know. It's like it's clothes. And it's the I, same thing. It's like right. you I know. think that just is a big shout out. It's like to Count their Dooku's props lightsaber. Co- Absolutely. Like, that, yeah, like yeah, yeah. A, that. You know. No, for sure. Yeah, or <laughs> I mean, Grievous. Yeah, yeah. It's just like you know. You build. You build yeah, the personality into the weapon or something. Absolutely. And I think that just shows you that they had good people on these movies to do that. You the know, canes, he's got it, but the yeah, canes, like that. That's it's great. They didn't make that up, but like that's a total him thing. No, like, it absolutely is. And Voldemort snapping it off when he yeah, takes that was like, good. So yeah, that was demeaning I thought that was him in, in the, probably totally. the most like physical way possible besides uh, killing him. Injury, yeah. yeah. So everyone can down. use everyone's wands, but it's yeah. more there's a potent. Har- there's with a lack you. of harmony in like the user so, and the wand. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's harder to use someone else's wand. I would assume your your natural ability is diminished. That makes sense. There's certain people that it like doesn't like. I bet you if Dumbledore were alive and picked up anybody's wand he could do he would most be fine anything, but you like, have to be probably be, a more experienced wizard yeah. would make but there would be a that. degree that you might not notice but he would or something like that that so. makes sense that makes sense yeah, that's, so, so that's why they use and ron gets a second wand like after his break that's what i was gonna say yeah, they don't really Actually, point that out ron gets long. a hand-me-down wand i think initially of he and then he gets <laughs> the new like that breaks in uh chamber of secrets i and see and he gets another one so. interesting okay uh, of course no that makes sense yeah, because why wouldn't he get the? But I guess that one's chosen for him. Also, no I thought their I thought their house was totally destroyed. It's a, like new one. It's different so so we at. see the one scene I think in the beginning when they're all like the wedding set up. Right, but before that, and it's just the house, and then with the wedding, it's like bigger. Well, they have like a tent set up and all that, but you I mean don't the stack. Like yeah, you feel like it's no, taller. the house yeah. literally gets yeah, like an addition. I, I, I was trying to remember that because I actually took note of that when I was watching. I was this like, time. what the hell? I was like. I forgot if they just rebuild it or if it was magically like you're hidden. saying where it's like yeah like I don't know it looks very tiny in the beginning and then like, right it's just you a go circle it it's, a, whatever, it's like it's like Hagrid shack but maybe yeah, like totally. six times bigger totally yeah, yeah. Um, but and then but they had a prote- they had a protection thing around it though too clearly right? clearly, clearly not, not. but no. I was gonna say like how much did that let's did, say, did not do anything the, the wedding gets you know what well, it fucking crazy that's why I don't know if, <laughs> my death ears they don't really touch on that that I remember like even in the movie but I wonder if that's it almost seems foolish that they did all that because like the wedding yeah because they they get found out. And they have yeah. all these. But again, like, I feel like they would have found out. I guess that's what it maybe is. Is like there's a mole there somewhere, yeah. right? That but because like them. the ministry it's, um, falls. It's, like, um, I don't know if certain Lovegood. things get undone. Like I don't know. How so that, that works, that's the so. thing. That whole ministry things get sent out, and they're like the ministry of magic is dead. They took over. I love that Patronus. I, yeah, I thought that was really cool. I also special shout out. I can't remember that actor's name who plays the minister at the beginning. I really liked him. in Yeah, that scene. Um, he's in. A, he's in a very prominent he's a, he's British actor. Rufus Scrimgeour, like something like he's in Hot Fuzz. He plays his dad. I think. Yeah. He's in a ton of stuff. Because you're not talking about Pius, who's at Voldemort's the mouth. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one who brings Dumbledore's. The one who takes the place of Fudge. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I really like the one who comes to give them the will. He gets killed off screen, too. Yeah, exactly. Which, again, that's more exciting. Like, that is fine with me compared to, like, a main character. Not a main character, but where you get mad, I just kind of. Yeah, that kind of sucks. But, no, I thought that whole scene of him kind of giving Dumbledore's will was very good again mm-hmm. i just think the strong points of this movie are the beginning and the end and just once we get into the whole like all right they got a harcrux now we're in the woods now yeah. we're trying to destroy the harcrux and we're for in what the feels woods. like and 45 we're in the minutes right. to and an we're hour. in the woods right. and then we're in the woods and then we're, we're in the woods. woods and we're in the tent in the woods <laughs> yeah know? and then i don't know i guess the whole thing with ron and i get it's the harcrux fucking with him too but he seemed to be starting to get jealous before he was even wearing the harcrux I was like, Ron, what are you doing? I think he just doesn't yeah. have confidence. And that's so I was almost, flawed, I was yeah. kind of willing to accept that that's like an intrusive thought he had in that moment. And then him wearing the Harcrox then makes it, that even it, worse. It is, yeah, exacerbates it. It, it yeah. is funny because I, I remember that like a little, it's funny how I remember, like, I don't remember, like when I originally watched these, like uh, Harry and um, Ginny's relationship at all. I, I always thought he kind of like Sucks. flirted with uh, Hermione more. And in this movie kind of brings that, to like a, a degree through where Ron is just like perceiving them being friends is like more, more than that. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's like, I get it from a perspective, but then at the same time, like I, like when, when we're, you know, fast forward a little bit to when they're, when they're at the lake and they're, they're getting this, the, 
Sword. sort of got your Kiffin door out of out of the frozen lake, and he sees that image. I'm like, that, I get it because that's like his fear manifesting that mm. like he can't get the girl. Yeah, like it, it didn't it didn't no, need to be sense. Harry, but it was Harry. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, which is very interesting that they're like naked and making out in front of him. A very twilighty effect on them. Yeah. Did you notice that? Like the super shiny skin yeah. and like yeah yeah. I, I I read into a little bit about that because I remember that like, Karen at the time that it came out like commentary from the actors about that scene because that's an actual like harry and hermione or you know daniel radcliffe and emma watson had like do that scene they, and they, they went made in out. and he said the first one so uh who's it uh david yates yeah right so he was like the first time i did it was like timid and not really like selling what the horcrux would have been trying yeah. to do he's like i kind of needed to be like Beastly in a way, like very like, 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 like yeah, you're and then, like you they want each other. Yeah, right. so, yeah. It's like it's a lustful. Yeah, yeah so they say. So Daniel Radcliffe talks about how uh, the second take or whatever, like an, a later take, yeah. uh, Emma Watson like dogged him, like to, like totally laid it on. He was like, oh, I was expecting man. like a kiss or whatever, and she went right, and he just rolled with it, yeah. and it was like like so. What you see was like initially her being like, all right, we got to sell this thing, no, and just yeah. diving in and like forcefully like making That's out funny. with him and stuff. So I was like. Pretty interesting to think of them as like growing up from like kids, knowing each That's other. Like you just have to make out hard. I can't wait to watch that twenty and years. They said that, uh, yeah, Rupert. Grimm oh, by was the there. way, can we, can we call out the bullshit of these movies not be on HBO Max anymore? Well, Come so on. apparently yeah. it's weird. I didn't they, realize they switched this. The rights. They're, yeah, they're I thought I just assumed that they owned them in perpetuity. You would think, being a WB fucking company. Well, you no, know? but that's not. I, I just would have assumed just back in the day they would have gotten that mm. deal from Jake just because she was like an off, like a pretty relatively unknown mm. author. Mm. I'm genuinely surprised they didn't steamroll the shit out of her and just take yeah. all of those rights. Yeah. Yeah. That blows my mind. But hey, then I, I had to pay for this one. That's all. That's I did too. I don't. We didn't. We usually we watch where we watch them. And Casey's been watching on the DVDs, but. Oh, you know, it's funny. This happened HBO with Max. Batman too. Right? Yeah, I, it I did. Have, yeah. I have primarily been watching on HBO Max. Oh, okay. Ease, but I went home to my parents and they got Peacock. my uh, box set. Uh, no, 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 like no. I have, I have the whole. Like, oh, that's awesome. At the time, yeah. it was probably way more than. It was yeah, worth, this is. Like, I'm trying to build that. my my movie collection, and I think this might have to join it. Yeah. I feel like I have to it, get all seven of them. It's good. Like I have the crazy right. set that's got all this extra stuff. Yeah, in it. like a map of Hogwarts, shit, like wild stuff. But well, like, it's, it, uh, it's you can like, there's so many deals on Amazon here and there randomly. Like I got Dune 4K for like 10 bucks, mm-hmm. like with the everything. So got to go to Best Buy. That's true too. You go to yeah, the bin and they just the, have the it all. The bins, yeah, for sure. I fucked up in that. Um. In that DVD set that I have, I'm pretty sure I have Salazar Slytherin's Locket that came with it. I should have brought oh, that. I didn't really? think about it. Are you going oh, br- to bring the wand for part two? Yeah, actually. Yeah, I have, and I have something else I'm bringing for part two. Oh! Yes! Thank God. Uh, Big should, I should have brought it this week, actually. I have my Death Eaters uniform. No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. What, it's not fun to cosplay as Death Eaters? I show up with like, the skull mask. It is yeah, funny yeah, how yeah. you don't see that one cosplay, for good reason, but <laughs> you yeah, never see yeah. a cosplay of the, the Death Eaters. The black robe might cover you, but not yeah. enough. Not the enough, pointy yeah. hood would just yeah, get nowhere. Yeah. But, but going back to the movie, yeah, so after the wedding, like, you know, everyone flees and... The rest of the movie is, you know, I do want Hermione, to talk about the wedding really quick. Yeah, though, Hermione, Ron, and, and and Harry on the run. But yeah, uh, I kind of was confused on the whole. It, it went back by quick, and I didn't rewind with the whole Dumbledore family explanation from that woman. So that's what I was. I was going to ask if you guys like. Oh right, I didn't from really quite woman? understand so what was, she was that explaining. Was Aunt, Auntie Muriel. That's okay. like a Weasley. Her name's like repeat, like randomly, like oh my, Auntie I got it. Auntie Muriel. Yeah. Like I think Ron when he wears a crazy Yule ball dress yeah. thing, like he's like, oh, this looks like it could be my Auntie Muriel. It's like she's like a recurring like, like drop, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that's her. Like Harry meets her at the wedding, which actually Harry is disguised at the wedding to look like a Weasley cousin, like sure, cousin that makes Bilby sense. or something. Makes a lot like of it, sense. Like they call <laughs> no, so yeah. he's just Harry in the movie, which mm-hmm. is kind of interesting to me. Like, like yeah, they're, they're wanna... so out in the open. They're having like a wedding. Yeah. Like a bunch of people are here. Yeah, like, so like, they're asking kinda... to get raided. Yeah, but so Harry goes and talks to so Elphis, Elphis or Elphis Dodge was like one of Dumbledore's childhood friends. Yeah. So he grew up with them and then he writes like the obituary about him and it's yeah. all touching and you know, great man, all that. But then Rita Skeeter, who I don't, I forget when she gets out of like Hermione's, uh, Jar. So does trapped. that happen in the books yeah, too? Like yeah, she gets okay. out, so like she writes the the life and lies of Alvis Dumbledore. I think yeah. is the title of the book, but it's like you know an ex- expose, yeah, you know, sure. traumatized on his life, but like with a lot of truth to it. Yeah. Um, and so Aunt Uriel is like shitting on Dumbledore to El- Elpheus Dodge, and he's like, "Oh, don't talk about him." That you know, he's like yeah. getting all high, like yeah. freaked Ooh. out. Like, so Harry is disguised. And not in the movie, but in the book, as like this Weasley cousin. She's like, "Oh, I don't know you," but she's just talking shit on Dumbledore. Yeah. So like, she starts talk, telling him like, "Oh, so you know, Godric College, where he's from," and like, Harry's like, oh, 
Talking and about like obviously, sister, like, why right? would you never yeah. tell me that he's from where I'm from? Like all that, like about his brother, about his sister, about his father killing muggles and like all that stuff. So like, that's right. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this whole book is really in a bad. Like they, they don't do it as much in the movie, but it's all about like Dumbledore's Harry family. having to trust Dumbledore, but learning all this stuff that was never told to him. So it's like it's like this increasing like that interest that makes sense. That's interesting. Actually, that's, yeah, like the whole backdrop is like Harry trying to like figure out why would he leave me this task, but not tell me all these things like. Did he have my best interest in heart? Did yeah, he, like, to like, what can I really trust him? Yeah, like, yeah. Well, and what the fuck do I do from here? Interesting. Like, even if you trust him, he doesn't have clear instructions. So yeah, again, I felt that, like that, that whole... That scene's the beginning of Harry's, like, why don't what's I... What's going who, on? Did I know yeah. this man? And she's like, really, honestly, boy, I wonder, did you know him at all or whatever? Like, yeah. That line she says yeah. to him, like, and that's his thoughts, like, Just somebody's like, what saying the fuck? Right yeah, back yeah, to yeah. him, so... Interesting. That's, that's where that sets the tone. I mean, I mean, like, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Whole, no, it absolutely does. Like, I Harry just, doesn't n- know his like Dumbledore. family history. Yeah, no. but yeah, even like, that, like you like think for someone, like, he's his te- not a teacher, but like a principal. But you, you know? think for because someone as prolific people, yeah. as that that like story would be? Like, I don't know if our president, our president, our like the leader of our school, yeah. principal. That's the word. Sure. I fucking can't think of it. Sure, yeah. the killed five. Yeah. Pi- like his dad killed five people. You would I don't know. know. I think I there would know. be like yeah, <laughs> no, that's I mean, upset. No. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Mean, he's also like a like hundred and something years old. Sure. Like, so yeah. I guess that kind of gets buried then. But it is funny. So I guess he, what he was born in like nineteen, not many eighteen ninety pe- yeah, something then, right? Yeah, yeah. Not many people know like his story. There's only like some they, like it's a people will talk about it who do know it, but like it's not. Common it's not a well. Like, has, has JK it's well hidden. Yeah. Has it's she like fully but documented this somewhere? What? Well, probably Dumb- in the book, I assume, right? The Dumbledore's like full like background. They other than it just being they mentioned, expose like a lot or enough of it in the movie to like give you the have picture. a good. I picture. don't know if there's ever been like a a, a whole like she's never done like bi- a similar bi- bi- right, like here's thing. a short story about yeah, Dumbledore, I'm, I'm not that I'm or familiar. maybe would, she published that. Writing. Like, I'm kind yeah, of surprised yeah, she never did like it's a, a full-on history of the Wizarding World. Type. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It could be on Pottermore. I would. Like, I, yeah. th- there's a I think that would be a really good cool cool never dive into. venture for her, especially as like Hogwarts Legacy is coming out, which is you know obviously. Dude, we'll, she might we'll just be. Do, we'll, be we'll be fucking her. No, that's that. it too. I can she, put. She might just be over it. On top of just like the artistic exhaustion you might get from putting all your energy into that, yeah. like. They've done her so dirty with like yeah she has I know, done yeah the, from dirty. I guess that's more like the film and, and she's like, also like, like a controversial figure that's why that's why yeah they've done her dirty she like she I, I I think at a certain point you just want to be like fuck you all figure it out on your own yeah cut and, me my check when I deserve it well but and it's even like, and it's funny because it's even become this like I don't know I I get I'm not gonna get in the whole J K controversy mm. people are gonna feel the way they're gonna feel about sure. that regardless but it does get to this point of where it's like even like the fucking Hogwarts legacy. There, people are like boycotting yeah. that because of her, and it's like, she's you know, really she's involved. gonna get her fucking check regardless, yeah. right? Yeah. You know that like, it's not gonna affect anything. You're only hurting the people who are then making that game, yeah. who yeah. probably agree with you on most of what you're saying. Yeah. And like, true, true. so it's just it is interesting to me. But I, I, is, I totally yeah. agree with that fact. If she's probably like, I don't even if I try, if she even tried to release something. It's going to be a controversy one way or another now oh, yeah. at this point. I mean, I'll or buy I mean, it. I think JK. controversy is even too hard for Archival work. JK, work. if you're listening, I'll buy it. Yeah, I mean, we'll buy, I absolutely <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. buy it. And honestly, I think they're af- they'd be afraid to even say if she was super involved in the yeah. game or something oh, yeah. like that. But she'd be under a pen name. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's yeah. our that's our JK uh, offshoot offshoot for the moment. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I do want to talk about that ministry scene, the ministry scene, because I think that's the strongest part of this movie right. for me. Their first, I do love their first the kind back. of plan. Yeah, you know, they, they they run away, and then it's like, all right, we know. Um, do they see that the necklace is around Dolores Umbridge's neck? Who points that out? They yeah. they remember they have to they find out Mandungus stole it and then he tells yeah. them that they sold it to her by chance. And he he gave it to Dolores she, Umbridge. So do she, we she know? Basically gripped it off him yeah. when she called him selling shit. And yeah, she was going to yeah, turn yeah. him in and she and was she, like, oh, so I'll give you So the what is that locket exactly? Is it's it just a, a locket? It's, it's the Horcrux. It's just a locket. It's just though. one yeah, of, I don't think it's sal- anything specific. I think specific. it's Salazar Slytherin's locket. Oh, is it? Is that, like, it there's like an S in there. Right, I knew it was. was deal. Like, uh, obviously we, it's a Horcrux. We can get a little more into it in part two. But sure. Like that all of his Horcruxes are like notable. Right. Notable pieces of significant, like his, you know, his mother's ring, which is actually, we'll get into what that really is in the next one. Uh, his oh, diary right. was his, um, and what the what the hell's the other one? There was the the book. There was the diary, the, the ring. Oh, well, the locket. Yeah, the locket. Have. Um, so that that's supposed to be Salazar, Salazar Slytherin's locket. That makes sense. So he like, I think he envisions himself as an heir. I forget if he actually is. So of Slytherin. So my, that's I, important to him. I told you guys this, but my coworker pointed out a very good point as she was listening to our podcast. Mm. Um, shout out to her. Um, 
she was like, because I think we were talking about why didn't Voldemort just use random objects? It's because of his like ego. No, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, that's a. I, I, that, I already I, said I that. I read that when you sent that. Yeah, yeah that is. I think point. that's interesting and, for and, sure. And it's, also, a, it's a character testimony. And also, right? while, while I'm making shout out, shout out to R.J. Uh, Miller, who's who's been. Vocal. Leaving very lengthy yeah. comments on our on our YouTube. We channel. really appreciate it. We Seriously, appreciate yeah. it. We, 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 we read them and talk about. We absolutely them. do. I'm, I'm yeah. not a YouTube engager, but we talk about them. It's, it is appreciated. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one question I did have with the whole Dolores thing, though, is: Do is there any type of time frame on when she got that? Did she get that after Order of the like well after uh, Order of the Phoenix? Yeah, it would have been, been after that. Okay. It's after. Ooh, sorry. Jeez. Um, it's after Sirius dies. Mundungus goes to Grimald Place oh, and just loots the just shit loots out, the of fuck out of it. Yeah, um, steals all this silverware, silver, silverware, like, yeah, like, yeah, like nice legitimate. Shit, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah he like actual it. stuff. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes in and Creature like knows he did it. Creature, um, sorry. Creature, has, as he, as he tells you, like Creature was for years. Uh, reg so Regulus, Sirius's yep. brother, is the one who defects from Voldemort. He finds out from Creature. I think it's from Creature. He finds out that Voldemort has. The locket, what it is, and where it is, and that's and, how he gets it. Yeah. Uh, so he brings creature with him to help him take it, and I guess he dies doing that. Like, but creature makes it out and it, like promises to destroy the locket. So he's like for years and like trying to destroy this to no avail because he doesn't know, you know, Basilisk venom or yeah, he doesn't know what's the, gonna. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, like there's certain things that can destroy it. And like, so uh, that was the other. So Basilisk venom is just so, such a magic, powerfully yeah, magical force. So it can, it can. Like, Destroyed. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that was which is amazing. Like Harry gets bit, and then a phoenix cries on him. And he doesn't die from it, but it destroys a Horcrux instantly. Like it's always kind of funny. So like, and and they, and they, you know, yeah, they, they explain that, that, that so in this movie, and I'm yeah. just like, yeah. oh, you would assume then, like Harry doesn't just immediately crumple and die. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, then yeah. could bat. So I wonder if a phoenix tear could destroy a Horcrux. Then I don't know. Yeah, like, could, well, it's like their healing properties like non destructive. Oh, I guess that makes guess, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if it was like. <laughs> if you got yeah, it, like if you in got a bag that, with and Phoenix tears or something, yeah, just like, there, like, yeah, with heal things, yeah. yeah I, I did sure. really love the notification of the, uh, <laughs> the just, stop, just stop a walk, yeah, like around full and just, on, like, yeah, yeah, no, it truly bands. Does. We got you the, turn the muggles the, being you're coming with us, yeah, squashed like, under in the like propaganda, the propaganda is more like Soviet looking, yeah, definitely. Um, and but yeah, like they they go hard on that tone, and then I feel like they needed to do that to really sell the point that. Voldemort and this is what he's going for. Were, yeah. Like, like the persecution of the Muggles was like the the big point because they don't really like they talk about it, but they don't really like well, really show it. It doesn't. They seem don't to show be... like Muggles getting corralled. Like, then right. they don't really do that in this movie either. And they get attacked. Well, a few that's times, the thing. It seems like a very interesting idea. It's like it's not exactly a Nazi in the way they don't seem to be rounding up Muggles and to like. Like and like culling muggles, but, but, but they don't but seem. They just seem to the have ma no the magic. They're going into yes, the magic they're, they're, population and culling and getting rid of the the non, impure they, blood. Impure blood, like, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. I, I think half bloods are safe because you just have to like prove you have ancestry. But interesting, like, like, mug, like mug, muggle, mug like completely say, muggle like, born. Like Hermione's in danger, but Harry's not because he's a half. Oh, because oh, he's a, that makes let, sense. Let's okay. go fucking back. Hold on. Speaking of Hermione, so she. Oh yeah, I meant that was my first thing. She wipes. Her family's memory of her entirely. Yeah, and this so is like, this has the move to Australia to protect them. Yeah, like, but does she ever like like that's permanent? I mean, for I don't they don't. There's never a moment where it's like she goes and undoes it. But so she, as you, of, you imagine she goes back and like undoes it. it. Yeah, that's that an like, undoable thing though. Yeah, is the idea. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was I, like, holy I, shit! I'm pretty certain. Okay, I would say like she, Hermione would go back and make that ride. She. Would I thought I'm like that was really dramatic. See, the only reason that I thought it wasn't was because of in. Oh, by the way, Catelyn Stark's her mom. Yeah. Chamber of Secrets, like it seemed like, that. like do you yep. think they would have given back what's his name, his memories, like if that, like, well, that was like a that was that's a bounce back, his, his yeah. Charm. He had like a very powerful memory charm that he would do. But I thought he was doing Obliviate too. I mean, it, apparently, it, it, I guess the depends on. Oh yeah, that's, that's like the spell so that backfires talented. on him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's so. Who does he? Who does he? Yeah, exactly. it's like his specialty. Who's he casting that on? Ron and Harry because he's trying to erase there, and he's using Ron's broken wand. Yeah, right. And that's why it bounces back on him. No, yeah, but I can go watch us talk about this in our Chamber of Secrets rewind review. I thought that that scene of Hermione using Obliviate was like really dramatic. I was like, whoa. No, it was sad. Big moment. I think honestly, I will say it takes it away a little bit for me if she can go back. And fix them because that's what I was thinking. I was and like, I feel they don't like, ever say it, but I just no, exa no, does. exactly. That's why well, I guess in my mind, in the cursed child, in the doesn't. cursed child, mm -hmm. is that ever brought up? Not that I remember. Who's no, she's married to Ron? Who? Yeah, they have a kid. Yeah, they have kids. I think plural. Okay. Yeah. Rose, I think is her name. 
Rose Weasley? Ro- Rose. I, I think it's Rose. Yeah, I don't know. I think in my mind, yeah. canon, she doesn't go back. Because I think I, that makes I don't that like choice that. a bit. No, I know, but I, I think that makes characters. that choice they leave even it open more. Ended. When characters make those decisions like that, it always. Uh, well, but there's also like the a co- testament to the character. Though. No, like, it's that's true. That's a big, like, this is the danger I'm in. I can't involve my parents. But I, like, and so I guess her thinking. Because they can't do anything. Her line of thinking in that then would be okay, they're completely mind erased. The, the, the Death Eaters anything. show up, they can't even get anything yeah. out of them. But I feel like the Death Eaters are such jerk offs, they'd be like, okay, Death. Yeah, definitely. Totally. But that's so, why she moved them as well. That's you know, another. So like that's one thing I didn't catch until yeah. after I saw that. Speaking that's a, of the Death Eaters, I like the what are they called? Snatchers. Mm-hmm. I like how it's such a they're like not a, Death Eaters, but they're they like work the for cronies. Industry, yeah. yeah, I yeah. like how they're like they're just dis- not described, but they kind of look like you know like ruffian yeah. types, yeah. like thugs. Yeah. And they're you know they're wearing the armband and they're young guys, so they're easy like clearly like you know they're easily um, manipulated and, and sure. coerced. Yeah. Absolutely, so you catch like Grayback there. Yes. Fender, yeah, so he's like, because he's not a Death Theater. Like, yeah. Like we've, uh, I just think RJ made a comment about that, but because, like, not being in the graveyard and all that. Like, he's he's not a Death Theater, so he's just running around with the Snatchers, capitalizing on, like, because he's a sadistic fuck. Yeah. Like, he's old, he's, like, into, like, like yeah. He's got the taste for human Bill, flesh. And Bill Bill has a like, scar from him. Yeah, yeah. So I forget, because that run in with Bill, um, I think happens in. I thought it was supposed to happen like either at the end of six, like when the Death Eaters come into the castle. Um, like I thought that was when Bill gets marred by Greyback, and then mm-hmm. like, but at, they don't show it. Like they don't really go through that in the in the in the book or in the movie six. They just kind of come in and raise hell and then leave across the grounds, you know. And Harry chases yeah. them and has the shit on. Yeah, but I I think that's where Bill gets that. But they don't ever say anything about it until he shows up with the scar on his face in the beginning at uh private drive in the beginning got it that was just a tangent my mind went on so yeah i mean uh, yeah (laughs) i like yeah the ministry of magic scene is pretty quick um and then you know they uh like the the interactions when they're polyjuiced is is pretty funny i i did think they were acting Mm. very odd at some like overly odd like they were like the way like harry Harry was walking i'm like what is he doing because i i I think like imagine i mean like compared to the crab and goyle scene like they're their age and i guess they like know how they act they don't know these people at all but i mean i just so they don't i guess they're like overcompensating yeah Yeah. they're nervous too you can keep track of that for sure i mean they could die and then dolores like fuck and walks right in the elevator, and I like how they use uh, one of Fred and um, George. George, one well, Fred and George's like gag yeah. toy yeah, yeah. in the in the the the, uh, uh, the, pr- the printing room, or whatever the fuck it is. The thing that <laughs> so something I actually appreciate about how they did it, like they in the in the book they do all like weeks of surveying, like the ministry. They they know who they're uh, going to be impersonating. They like find out as much as they can about them. All kinds of research goes into it, but in the movie it seems it just like, like a it does more feel rushed, very like but whoa they, but they didn't just, just try it. to like we're just gonna seem, like nip these three did, people right? did, yeah but they didn't try to make it seem like they know everything about them without knowing that you they did very research so it, it kind of worked and, and they that, clearly like, they just don't go up and they take these people and then they're like we have no fucking idea where we're supposed to be right now yeah, I, yeah. Like, they might know their names or they're like just like, who's that one yeah. guy who yells at the guy who ron is Oh, it's the it's the main it's the guy yeah, who's actually, in charge of like the law wizarding yeah, actually, law or something blonde, that looks like Malfoy with the blonde hair and he has like a tail, like a I think so. like a braid. Yeah, you're the one. Asking. I know he's we, he, we he stops know. him in the elevator. And <laughs> he's, he's the like, one what, go, What's he's going on with the rain in my the, office? Yeah, the one who yeah, goes through the the yeah, yeah, teleporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he's a death eater. Yeah, so okay. he's like involved. Um, yeah, right. In that uh, that and the teleporter thing is pretty pretty gnarly. Yeah, Ron gets pretty fucked up. Splinched. What is that? I'm confused. Splinched. Is it just he got? Was that part? Oh, he got splinched. Right. Is that part of apparating? Yeah. Like if you don't. You can like seriously hurt yourself doing it. It's kind of like any teleportation. Issue, Interesting, you know, like in, classically in like any show or movie that has it. It's like there's always risks. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. If you're not, I, I don't know if it's a concentration thing. If you don't, or if you're just like not skilled enough or whatever. But so like, and that was because Hermione because, was so. Yeah, like, so they they teleport. They land on the step at Grimmauld Place, which is like the only place you you could land out front it and not see it. Yeah, but if you land on there, then like. You see the it. reason they can't go back is because now he knows, he knows he's where it's involved at. on the secret because he yeah. was brought there. Yeah. So then she just ditches him and then whoosh, jumps right to the forest and uh, run. I guess since she wasn't, she was yeah, out like, of focus. Maybe is that exactly it is why it is. Say, yeah. But like, yeah, I would say it's because that makes what, sense. What's his face jumped on him? No, that. So that was. I was curious Actually, as well, like it didn't happen to any of the other ones. It's like a, so that makes sense. Kind of true. I what happens to him? He just gets left at the other place. He gets 
they can then like go into the Death Eaters because he now knows how to get into Grimwald Place. Like he's involved. The secret is revealed to him. So, so now can they can't go there anymore. There. So they so just they, left him there. You know, he's probably I forget. He's like at um, other points in the book and I guess the movie, but I don't I don't remember seeing him after that. Is scene. he in the next one? I don't remember seeing him specifically, but I'm sure he is somewhere. Sure. Like, but yeah, he just nothing happens to him like fatal or anything. He ne- just is not. You know, they'd lose them. And then now we arrive yeah. at the trudge. We're in the forest. We're hiding. Ron and Hermione and Harry are losing it a little bit. They're getting, you know, the Horcrux is influencing yeah. them. They're they're getting mad at each other. They fight. Yeah. Ron leaves, yeah. you know. A they lot, find the, a lot the of sort n- of Gryffindor. So that was another thing of it just presented itself where it needed. Or was it literally left there for them? No, I think uh, I think it was the presented itself it was, when it was needed. It was left there. Oh, I thought so because of, yeah. that stat that's well, that dough it's, it's is tall, yeah that's yeah Snape, so right that, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's, Snape that's has the, the sort of Godric that's part of the background like Dumbledore left Snape instruction to make sure Harry could do that and you know Snape begrudgingly goes along yeah and love for Lily and all that jazz but um, no. I was actually trying to look into this because I don't know if they don't ever explicitly say like why it's there but it's yeah like, most people seem to believe it that, is it is very. Yeah coincidentally there. Well, yeah, see, well, I'm taking, now that you're saying that, I'm taking it as, okay, Snape found them. He knew where their camp was and he Somehow. put it in like, yeah, I'm assuming Cause, he... Because they use those char, uh, you know, charms to For sure. charm the area. You know, the snatchers come by and yeah. it's cool that like the perfume, a scent can go I really like that whole scene and of he how smells it, it when it flipped around that was very yeah, cool like and the, it yeah. flips through the barrier <laughs> and it's invisible and then it flips back. Yeah, that, yeah. Was a, that was a nice scene. Yeah, but the... Uh, as far as the sword, I think it's kind of a, it's like community consensus in a way that like Snape is instrumental, whether it is just to like casting the Patronus that would lead them to it if they were near enough or if he like knew where they were and cast it to them or interesting. But like, I don't know specifically and I wish I had done a little more research on it, like whether or not he put it there and it was left there until they were nearby or if it presented itself like how it and then like to a true Griffin his door, Patronus like, would guide him once he yeah got like, close. which is lily's patronus and, was a doe as and well so, so here, like here's why. my other question how far are they actually traveling like where are they going all over the countryside like in, uh, but the, just england of, i guess like the, i don't know where they're the in the cliff i mean they go to the cliffs of moor right well I no they know. go there like, to get where. the in the sixth movie to get the Harcrocks. that's where they're which at i didn't i thought they're i thought they're like on the cliff it looked like they're like coastal i don't know i don't know it looks like mid like middle you're i don't even know like yeah just european Something yeah. or other. As far as I know, they're is just it more or more? More, I don't know. Close to more. I don't know. However you say it, like M O H E R. You guys know what we're talking about. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> just the, fucking. They, as far as I know, they're just like all around the UK. But I don't know if they. Get yeah, because I was like, they're walking. Like they must. Does be the same know thing the happen in the? Is, like, does the same thing happen in the book where Ron gets splinched and they yeah, can't yeah. apparate because yeah, of that? Yeah, like he's got. They got to use the. the That's good. And all That's that. good on them. And they're traveling, I guess, for about three months from end of. Be- fall to winter because you know we get that when they get to that village that the pot or mm-hmm. yeah the, the potters, yeah, the, potters the live yeah. and Dumbledore live they do that they disappear right after Harry turns seventeen and then so that's and July, then it's and then it's July, uh, Christmas all Eve. the way through Christmas Eve is so Ron's gone for like months really I think in the book they say weeks in the movie but like it's like a long what the while fuck he's he just, well, like he, he and oh he's looking for he them, goes right. home he just he leaves the protection and Hermione like goes out to look for him she's like walks around for like a long time looking for him when they have the fight and he runs out and then but he just went right home as far as I it's, know it all it's all like it's like it, you know when you get into these things and there's like distance involved and it's like you, mm-hmm. you your mind like starts like. How, like where'd he go? He like, just app- he I just assume he apparated home. somewhere, but I thought he can apparate. Well, he can. And then like, like and, just and, it's just dangerous. Yeah, it's, and same with like dirt. the love goods, and they're like, oh, they just like show up. Like where the fuck do they live? What do you mean love? They, they probably know where they, they live near. Live, they live near live the Weasleys, close to right? the Weasleys. Yeah, exactly. yeah. right. But like, good pickup. Yeah, at the beginning, he's yeah. like, we live over on the hill. The context of of distance and locations, I think, is like kind of important to this. Because they're traveling a lot. It's, I the do same, think, it's the same thing with like Lord of the everywhere. Rings and like okay, like where are they going to get to um, to Mount Doom? Like we know that because we have a Middle Earth map and it's well documented. Like the the roads. Yeah, are I mean, traveling. we have no British yeah. or UK maps, right? Or the European maps. 
Yeah, the no, no, but, 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 no but I know what you mean. The movie I isn't do. telling us. I, I do oh, think we're, we're yeah, south no. of London. I think it loses itself in the weeds a bit. In right, that. you just don't really know, like, because again, as, you don't, a, as you don't like, need to know where they as are. As a nerd yeah. getting into the war, it's, I, it's, it's the context is interesting to me. But and it just seems like they have Does just been matter? moving to no. to stay safe at that point, yeah. right? Because they're yeah. not, they don't know where any other exactly. Horcruxes exactly. are. They're basically just oh, they're they're like they're like fish out of water. Well, the, they they don't know what the fuck to do because well, they don't know how to destroy. But I guess it. I take what Casey's saying. You don't need to know where they are. Yeah, it doesn't right. matter. I just because want, I want no for sure. Yeah. I want but like I guess it's not. Like, it's there. They are in the middle of nowhere to get away from the bad guys. Right. They're yeah. Again, I do think that's where it just kind of. We're getting some important information in those points, I know. For sure. Mm. But it's just kind of so slow that I kind yeah. of have just, I kind of glaze over a bit in that middle scene, and I'm just like, all right, here we go. And then it kind of picks up again once they get caught back. Because is it right after them? When do they get caught and go to Malfoy's? Like, like right at the that, end. Right. No, I know, but like, is it like right after the ministry thing, or is that after no. the ministry is when they, Ron um, leaves, right? And then they then, go to, it's after Love Goods. Gotcha. So like okay, which is after Ron returns, like yeah. So Harry and Ron go to what uh, Godric's Hollow, yeah, Christmas Eve, all that. Bethesda. That's what that town's called. Yeah, Godric's Hollow. That's that's where Harry's from, where Dumbledore's from, like when he lived in the where he met Gellert who, Grindelwald. Who was that where, lady like, in the house who just ev- evaporates? Bethelda Big Shot, Bag Shot. She's like a history of magic. If you ever check, check her leg, like throughout the series, you'll the hear. Table. Okay, it like slid throughout oh, the series. Sorry. Like you'll hear Hermione be like. I read it in Hogwarts of History. Like, Bethilda Bagshot wrote that. She's like, that's why Aunt Muriel is like, she's like only the most, whatever, even the historian of our age. Yeah, like her. interesting. Like, so okay. she, she lived next door, I think, to the Potters is like how it is in the, uh, but it, they kind of portray it differently in the uh, movie. But you see Harry's house. When he, they, it, all it looks like a shit. house out of like Skyrim. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, just yeah, yeah. yeah, I knew. I do uh, love how they're like, just like we're not. Like we're like not going to use like electricity. Like in Winterhold or something. Yeah. How there's like de- you know yeah. like destroyed yeah, homes yeah. that haven't been I w- rebuilt. I wish they showed it, but like so Muggles can't see the Potter's house. It's like got a uh, a charm, charm of some kind around it. Yeah, they they can't see it. And there's like a little plaque like who's are dedicated to like the Potters. Oh, it's, like, interesting. You know, here and it, there might be a mention like Harry surviving or something, but like it's like James and Lily gave their life or whatever it is. I, I did like that scene of him visiting their grave. I yeah, thought it, totally. it, it definitely hit. Hard. So yeah, we did a good job. Yeah. And, and we and Hermione the, being considerate with the flowers. For sure. Like, no, I thought that was friend, good. Like, the flower good effect was really bad. But <laughs> we, it was it was a good moment. Yeah. We yeah, didn't did like mention it. the the Deathly Hollows. Uh, I was going to say that's a necklace you're... on Love Good and then on the grave. I, I'm I'm kind of confused about like what what is what is like is is that a group like what why the Deathly Hallows? Right. No, it's objects. I know, but like yeah. why do they all just like put the symbol everywhere? Because it, it's it's in a way yeah. It's like what does it represent? It's, it's to like let people know that like you're familiar or you believe or you believe in the Deathly yeah, Hallows. Yeah. yeah. So like. That was Dumbledore's big thing, Brian. Like you saw, he signed that one letter, like where Hermione's like, "Look," and I saw like this symbol was on the Pepperell's grave. Xenophilia's so love like, good. Had it's like it. him making it a in, reference, and she shows him from Rita Skeeter's book a letter that she put in there that he wrote to Grindelwald. Dumbledore wrote to Grindelwald, and it's got like for the A in Albus, it's the Deathly Hallows symbol. Yeah, because that was his thing when he was younger. Like him and Grindelwald were like obsessed with the Deathly yeah, Hallows. Yeah. Try, obsessed with trying to find out like how to get them and be the masters of death and all that shit. So like Dumbledore is like a pretty interesting like vain young character like he was very he gets he humbled very as in his age yeah, yeah. he's very talented and like in a way almost like leaned towards the uh wizards are better so mentality. the deathly hollow is interesting he was drawn to that power is, is a myth but then he kind of got and, hum- and they're yeah. just kind of uh, just referencing the myth amongst like if you know what it means you know what it means it's most people will think of them as like a myth and a story there's like the people like Lovegood and Dumbledore. And so I have a walk. question about so this. So it's like Believe it's kind of like the the illu- the eye, the all knowing eye for the Illuminati in a way. Mm-hmm. It just represents that. Yeah, I, I right. I get. I'm I think to think I get what you're saying. Like, like a conspiratorial. I have a bit of a question cons- here conspiratorial, that might. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I will give J.K. credit. And there, don't get me wrong. I, I like, like to point group. out things for fun that I feel like are like breaking and and there to break again. But for the most part, I think these are very solidly baked stories. The thing that only confuses me is the invisibility cloak. So when Harry gets that in the beginning, I feel like everyone's like, oh, you got an invisibility cloak. Yeah, you yeah. got one of the invisibility cloaks. Like, But the way they're talking about like the Deathly Hallows and this, like, there's only one. There's only an invisibility. Like, there's the so invisibility Ron, cloak. Er, Harry so, has that. Yes. Harry, Harry has the invisibility yeah, cloak. Yeah, so nobody... I, I'm curious, like, 
So that's the thing. I, I think that was kind of almost, it seems like a yeah. bit of a retcon near the end, but again, not a major one where not, she was like, all right, the invisibility, like this is the invisibility cloak. There aren't many invisibility cloaks. Maybe there are, so, but I don't yeah, know. So they make them, but like uh, the this, knockoff ones per se can be like summoned away. So they could be oh, like. Oh, interesting. Like, Okay. Uh, I, 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 you probably won't say yeah, that. They're, yeah, they're knockoffs or replicas. Yeah. Well, there's okay. a point in the books where it's like, th- there'll be like Accio, like the summoning charm, yeah. Accio invisibility cloak, and Harry's won't respond. Like it's, oh, it's really? And that. so they do address so, that in the yeah, books. Yeah. So, okay. and, you, okay. and, and it's known that like his is a superior like quality uh, or whatever. Like people yeah. have barred, Dumbledore barred it from James Potter, like the night that they got killed, actually. Yeah. Like he had the invisibility cloak. That's why he had it to give it to Harry. But like all kinds of people have like tried to study it and stuff because it's it's one of a kind. Interesting. It's, okay. It's, it's truly like. The but there are other clothes. lesser invisibility. But they do make clothes. them. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, that's because I was curious. I didn't know because yeah. I'd be kind of surprised that no one back yeah. then would be like. But for that's all the intents, fucking invisibility. All intents and yeah. purposes, Harry has the most powerful garment Object. in the like in the in world. Art- yeah. Artifact. World. Yeah. It is yeah. literally a piece one of, of death the cloak. three most powerful yeah, things yeah, yeah. known to the wizarding world. That's interesting. And Dumbledore knows he has. So the story's true. Or, or do these artifacts just exist? I mean, I would assume they're, the story's true, right? I they're true. Go. I mean, we've talked about the Elder Wand before. Yeah, right. That true. Exists. The Elder Wand, the Resurrection right. Stone, is the Sorcerer's Stone. No, no, it's I don't the, think. No, it's the. So that's what we'll, we'll get to. We'll it. get to it's, in the next one. But it's. Okay. Do you remember it where it is? Uh, okay. I, I remember something with uh, Renona Ravenclaw. Like, All right, I won't. Like I won't spoil it. Already it. in something that like. Oh is, yeah. yeah, like that. Okay, that but also it's appeared. where it is right now. <laughs> yeah, it's hidden right now. Yeah, I could right. tell you. I know. I You're remember. Right. Where Am it I is, right? Is it something to do it's, with well, Ravenclaw? No, well, no, because I remember. No. I remember no. Luna no. Love, Lovegood says something. Yeah, they about, do need to get the tiara of Ravenclaw or whatever. Right. right? Yeah. That's that's, that's, we'll get to that in the next yeah. one. Yeah. I'm definitely excited for the second movie because this. I was gonna watch it this morning. I kept falling asleep. Part Part One was just such a, like. We're, we're having a great discussion here, and we're talking a lot, but like in the terms of a movie, like it's it's a bunch no. But I think that shows you there is there's meat in it. It's just like I said, it's the not great. Is the it's it's not great. Meat. It's almost like a but taste it, that needs to be like fully dished out. Through. Yeah, yeah. yeah like we kind of got you got to talk about it a little bit to get all the details out of it. Uh, let's talk. Let's get to Grindelwald in the final. I mean, we kind of already talked about yeah. Grindelwald. Uh, I just do again. I, I don't want to retread ground on that one. It's just I didn't know he was in this yeah, like, at all. Yeah, like, I really yeah it's weird. Yeah. He's like pops up and it's like, oh, okay. Really, here really we are. The significance of him is that he he steals. And the he's in Azkaban at yeah. one point, um, and then from there's a there's yes, like a yes. there's another wand maker. It's not Olivander. There's another yeah. So that's I was yeah. curious yeah. about. I thought yeah. it, is Olivander. Oh yeah, Olivander is in this movie. Yeah, yes, he he's, he's in the dungeon. So so there's yeah. Olivander and I for, uh, fucking. Man, I can't remember. Grim, well, I, it starts with a G. Gr- I thought I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, I, I can't remember. There's another wand maker who. Uh, who Vecna steals? <laughs> yeah, who, who young Geller Grindelwald steals the Elder Wand from? I don't remember how he comes in possession of it, but Grindelwald takes it, so he has the Elder Wand. Then, like, they don't flesh it out in this series. But, like, he goes on his whole like dark dark, dark wizard rampage, tear, yeah. and then Dumbledore defeats him in a duel and becomes the master of the Elder Wand. So that's like the significance of Grindelwald as far as like the original God, series and then, goes. And then series goes. Dumbledore has had that Elder Wand since yeah, then. Yeah, and Got you it. see right. like the the cool, which I really liked how they tell the story of the. Uh, oh, the I Deathly thought Hallows that whole thing. animation that, was super that cool. That animatic is very. Um, a lot of people talk about that for some reason because I, I think why. it's a. I think it's well done. I like yeah, that. it's it, it's like it's a got a nice charm to it, a nice art style. Uh, yeah, I think, I think putting an job. animation like that in a movie can go either way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. and I think and it's at the and it's at the end. Yeah. It's not. It's you know. It's usually yeah. something maybe you exposit at the beginning. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. They're giving you exposition, but in an interesting, way, like a surprising. Yeah. Way. They're telling you. They have to tell you. Yeah. So why not do it in a fun way? But you see, like Dumbledore's wand with the like how I had it here. That like it's almost got like the the knot. The knobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's like the one that they show in that animation that yeah do yeah you can see it yeah so it's like I, wasn't bone, sh- right? I wasn't sure if that was actually the elder one like i truly don't know huh. i didn't know but like that i guess is just them telling that's kind of their way i guess it yeah do they ever really describe his wand earlier just in the books or anything like that they're Dumbledore, just like, maybe i don't yeah. remember but yeah. i imagine i guess that he does have because no they do they, the they really do seem to take the wand specific like every wand is made to specification for these movies mm-hmm. which is interesting like a- from the book anything to note about uh luna lovegood or sorry well yeah it is luna lovegood's house uh, the lovegoods like uh i know we you know we get I didn't realize that was rice iffins for a while who which is rice iffins the guy playing a dad he's he's also the hand in the new uh 
That's, Game of Thrones. Dude, I was trying to. It's, uh, or the new, or in uh, House of Dragons. Dragons. Yeah, he's the hand. Wow. And that, and then he's, he's also a the, high he's, he's also yeah. a lizard in Amazing Spider-Man t- one. Oh, and he's him. one of the, He's a really great actor. Maybe that it's I feel the like. hair that's throwing. No, me dude, off. he lo- and he looks a lot older. I think in in a uh, Fire and Blood uh, or High School. You House should Dragons. leave him alone. Yeah. But, he really um, does. Wow. No, he's a great actor. I thought reference, he, was, he was. Reference to the end. He was great there, <laughs> and yeah, that whole scene with, I liked. I liked that Harry understood why he traded, like turned yeah. him in, because he's like, yeah, yeah. man, he, he, they have Where his Ron's daughter. Like, like the, what are we gonna? Yeah, freaking out. Ron's yeah. kind of like, what the fuck? Oh, I remember what I wanted my intro to be. I remember. What I was remember. It? it was when Luna Lovegood goes. That's a strange object to have in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> in, your, in your sock? Yeah. yeah. Sock? It's, yeah. A, it's a curious item to have in one sock. Yeah. Where yeah. did he get that That was that, was that piece so of that, mirror. Dude, this is like one of the things I wanted to talk about but didn't know if it would come up. The, yeah. That is a mirror that Sirius gave him. And it was like a two-way mirror. Sirius had the, the other one. Yeah. And uh, like you could pick it up and talk to the other person sure. through it. That and at sense. one point in the books, Harry, like, frustrated, like, throws it into the bottom of his trunk and it breaks. And it, like, still, he's got the shard that So that works. part still works, yeah. But that's why he's got a shard of a glass. And then, like, uh, do he, they ever show that in the it. movies before? Or is this, I like, I can't do even they remember ca- if they do. I don't think they do. Because I was thinking at first, I was Which like, oh, that's the piece me. of the mirror, like, the one from the beginnings where he's, like, seeing what he wants in it, like, his family and stuff. Yeah, that's, like, the mirror of uh, Eris, Erisa Desire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this mirror is just a two-way mirror that communication means. And uh, in the, I think it's in the deleted scene, one of the ones I was watching, like when he's leaving Privet Drive, Harry looks in it and he sees like a blue eye. And yeah. He, the whole point of that is he thinks it's Dumbledore. Gotcha. Totally. Like he's always like, he's like, Oh, Dumbledore, Dumbledore, yeah. Is Dumbledore's not, and then we'll find out who it was, yeah. you know, eventually. But he, we, uh, we, we went over how Voldemort uh, returns to Dumbledore's grave. I totally forgot about that. Well, no, that's that's the end. That's oh, the, it's yeah, the that's, end. That's, right, that's right, the right, right. Okay, sorry. So, no, no, no. But uh, I, I, so, okay, so we, we get to, you know, the, the trio gets captured. The Malfoy Manor. Yeah, we get to the Malfoy Manor. They leave Hermione Lovegood casts that <clears throat> spell on Harry to fuck up his face. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Which... I'm not buying that they don't recognize. I agree. Him. That's I agree. And that they either. don't know. You have to know he's Harry. In the Hermione movie, like, I think or it's Ron. They don't seem no, like I Bellatrix yeah. Saints doesn't know but, who well, any the, of them well, are. The problem is if they can't for certain say. No, it makes. And they I, summon I, Voldemort. Like she says, it. If, we, if he comes here and it's not Harry, like he'll kill us all. I get the hesitation. Like he's, he's so high strung right now, and like all he's right. And like Draco Harry looks and right at him, and it's like. But again, really I, I took that as Draco being like, "Do I want to turn him in and kill this guy?" But why? That's where you see their. Non-commitment, but to the but cause, like. Harry, uh, Hermione, and Ron are fucking with them. Yeah, but they don't like Ron was like seen previous. I think Ron like it might be known that he was home at one point when he like left those two and like they don't know I, who's where. I, like Hermione I don't I don't seen, buy it. Like, and I, the, I don't buy that Bellatrix Lane's like doesn't seem to know who they are. I kind of agree with Gooch to a degree. I think that I just wish it's tough to do because I get what you're saying. You still want it to be like, oh, that's Harry yeah. for the audience. Well, that's that's what. That was the reasoning, but like, I do think one. there is a better way. I think he's. Descri- that I think he's it. more I, fucked up. That's what I'm thinking. Like I would assume had, that in the books. I don't think they wanted to do the whole crazy makeup and that's the thing. Make him look like really. Ugly. I yeah. can. I can. I can go with the fact that he is supposed to be so fucked up that they can't see him, and mm-hmm. even all them together. Like, sure, Malfoy knows they all hang out together a lot, mm-hmm. and. But he's sitting there really. I feel like after that scene, you should you really do see how conflicted he is. Yeah, he's like, totally. He doesn't have this. He like he he's all talk. He does not have the stomach to be any type he's, of death. They're either. just scared and cornered. Yeah, like, they're so scared and they don't want to die. Opportunistic. They're like. Uh, and even in that moment, he is actually having a moment of fucking humanity and being like, "Do totally. I want to sentence this kid to his yeah. death?" It's a it's a big Draco moment. It like, is no, and I I gotta say, seeing you his love or hate him, it's like. That's a big move right there where he decides. At the core, he's not a piece of shit, yeah. surprisingly enough. Or yeah. he, or, He's conflicted. Yeah, he's yeah. conflicted at the very least. But I agree with you, Goosh. I think that was a little bit undersold. You guys, uh, yeah, it's obviously... Mm. I was like, yeah, I wasn't buying it, it at but, all. Yeah, it just comes down to like... They the, I'm like, they're they, not that's, that That is what the... That's, yeah. I hate saying this. That's what the plot needed at this point. Yeah. But yeah. I do get kind of what like they Bellatrix, were trying to like, do. Like, Bellatrix fought these two, three. Like, like she should know who they are. Sure. Yeah, but those two aren't... Aren't Harry Important. and I get like, and I yeah, get the whole idea. It has to be Harry. That right, they, right, right. They right, find right, right. they want a double, triple, quadruple and then check. They, and yeah. the Malfoys are on, the, like, they're on the outs. Thin with ice. Dumbledore. Yes, yeah, thin yeah, ice. Like yeah. they're very close to being. And like, uh, yeah, and so unnecessary. The, we find the the Gringotts bank owner. Right? Is that who he is? Oh, he's just one of the guys who worked no, there. He just worked there. Yeah, yeah he's uh, one okay. of the goblins. Uh, grip hook. Yeah, grip hook. And the the sword of Gryffindor was there at one point. 
Because that yeah, like Bellatrix thinks it was in the Lestrange vault all yeah. the way down in the bottom of oh, right. Green Gods. Right. But I guess it would appear to anyone who needs it, right? Or did she have well, like a fake one in there? So there's a there's or a I guess fake we'll get one. That's why too. they like bring Gripoke up to confirm the authenticity of it, and uh, so that she has hers. There's like one in Dumbledore's office or something. Like, got it. May or not, may or may not be the real one. Like, I think you might say it's a fake. I forget exactly, but like, there's there are two of them. One's a very very realistic fake, but a, a goblin can tell you. Yeah, this is fake. Yeah, and the other one's the real one. Got obviously. it. So right, and then she was under the impression she had the real one in her vault, and that's why there. she freaked the fuck out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's like, where did you get this? What mm-hmm. are you doing down there? And Ollivander, and then Luna Lovegood, and then obviously Dobby just shows up. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he gets. Well, he's. Oh, yeah, how uh, we find out who sends him right in the next yeah. one. All right, we'll talk about yeah. that when we get to part two. And yeah. that's that's with the mirror. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 that's yeah. That mirror, the two way mirror that yeah. has a connection to yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Dobby then, looks a lot better in this movie than he does in Shame. I mean, the last time we yeah, because I mean that's how many years. Yeah, but like yeah. I I noticed. Oh, I for was sure. Like, oh yeah, like but he I looks, mean, uh, eight uh, years of special effects improvements yeah. will do that to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or six I years. I want to keep on the Malfoy matter, but just I love when he shows up with creature and he's like. Harry Potter and he's like walking these creatures trying to get in front yeah, of him. He's, he's like, like pushing him away yeah, and he's get- Harry and them. He's just like very funny. Like I, I he's saw good. Creature. We, 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 we didn't curious, we didn't mention yeah. how Creature like fucking like has like a racist snap at yeah, um that's Hermione. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, Creature that's seems like a real piece of shit. I because yeah. they quick he quickly like jibber jabbers and like like munches his words together when he, he says that. And I put the caption on to see what he says and he calls her like a filthy mud blood. Mud blood. Or, yeah. Like he says like something really quick. Yeah. I was like, Oh, okay. It is that's weird like, how he, like he's Harry's now. Like he's Harry's half else. Yeah. House elf. House elf, yeah. yeah. Well, half else. Yeah. Half else. Half else. else. He uh, like me because he was creatures and then creature left everything to Harry. Yeah, so, fuck so him. He I wouldn't to listen to Harry. I wouldn't give creature like, a sock. I think they have to listen to most wizards, but he like creatures. Harry, just, that's why Harry just, says he's like, just sad. Go find yeah, him. You know, he's he just, just needs like, a buddy. Fuck creature. <laughs> Maybe if Dobby would be nice to him. Yeah. Maybe he's tried. So the one thing they didn't do in that scene uh, at the Malfoy Manor when um, I I don't think they do in the next one. I don't think they. I don't know what happens to him in the next one, but. They take, uh, you know, they're up. To, Bellatrix is torturing Hermione. They take Grip Hook up to check out the sword, and then when Ron and Harry jump, uh, Pettigrew, like Wormtail, they get him. And in the book, it's like Pettigrew basically gets the chance to like he gets the upper hand on Harry when they jump him, and he could kill him, and he hesitates. And because he does that, the silver hand that Voldemort gave him sh- strangles Pettigrew himself. Oh, and really? that's how he dies. So, oh my god! And that's God. all because so. That's all because like what, it sent Harry spared Pettigrew back in three. So like I, I remember when we were talking about this, I, I made a comment like that that is a very important decision that Harry makes to spare him from Lu- Sirius and Lupin, because then down the line like Pettigrew just has that moment of like of, do of, I want to kill this kid? Tra- and, yeah. and the hand is like just a tiny oh, okay. bit of hesitation. And yeah. just, so he and chokes he, him, and they try to like pry. Is, the is he in the next one? All. Interesting. He's dead. Like. Like when they really when they break out of that, like he kills, he just him. gets yeah. stunned by. Dobby but he in this should be one. dead in the real. Like the, his yeah. silver hand kills him in the book, he so he dies off screen. No, I. Uh, I, well, I don't, in in I don't, the movie, yeah, I don't think he comes back, but I don't remember. But I don't think he, they, he they like, do it they, otherwise. I just can't remember. But in the in the book, I'm not even embarrassed. If I find out I'm wrong, but no, the uh, the dungeon at Malfoy Manor is where that happens. Like he has that moment, right? And it's just like that. He's interesting. Dawn lights out. Like Voldemort's like, you're not totally loyal to me, then. Even after everything he did, bringing him back, all that shit. See it's like, him. later. You're not loyal, then whoosh, done. Yeah. See ya. Which is like a crazy. And I remember reading that part and being like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Like, dots connecting. Yeah. Like, it's like way shit. back. I'm like, dude, yeah. she's so fucking good. Oh, like, man. I was so impressed. But yeah. But I, I actually thought that happened in the movie. I couldn't remember. And then I just seen him get stunned by Dobby. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. The fight with. Who gets uh, his wand? Who yeah. gets his wand? Yeah. Yeah. The fight with Bellatrix Le- Lestrange ensues, yeah. and then Dobby pulls the pin on the. Uh, Chandelier, which is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I did. It's a good comedic moment of him actually sitting there for like a second, yeah, no, actually what, still and he's like, "Dobby doesn't want to kill. He wants her. to seriously maim or injure yeah, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. He maim yeah. or seriously injure. Yeah. 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 yeah, and then that's when she throws the knife. The portal comes up. Everything, everything goes, goes down the portal, hill. including the knife. And Dobby is Poor struck. Dobby. Yeah. Before we go into Dobby, just before that, Harry strips. Draco of his wand, and that yes, wand he, uh, is the all important elder wand now because Draco disarmed Vol or er, well, Dumbledore at the tower, so he's the master of the elder wand. 
Voldemort doesn't know that or connect that, so Draco's just carrying around this wand that's the most powerful object in like the fucking wizarding world. Oh, so no he has, so he takes the he Elder is, Wand off him ma- at that he second. He is the master of the Elder Wand because he at that he, time he disarmed it. But right. interesting, but, he, like he, it's weird because that's where I think they talk about it like, that Draco's combat. wand is it because Harry takes Draco's wand, not Dumbledore's. If I remember, sure, yeah, but yeah. they might not do it that way. I forget, Got it. Like okay, because Voldemort actually I totally. God. That, that Dumbledore has Dumbledore, his one. Dumbledore's yeah. wand. Basically, it's who have, since he disarmed. It's, it's like it, he doesn't so the, have the elder one is. It's more like you're the wielder of it, whatever you're using. I think. Yeah, if right, you, and if right. you even get disarmed from with your other wand, yeah, like you're, you, you are you're technically your wand your is now the elder one. Um, yeah, so Draco's Ma- Draco Malfoy's wand is the elder one. He's the master of the elder. I one. so when Harry no, disarms, did they did they explain that? Yeah, they like straight the it near when the Harry end of the dis- one, yeah. disarms him. Like that's why they show Harry like running over and like literally grip it out of his hand. But I think he, I thought like, they did that just to show that Draco was like being a, a little bitch, but being it's, a bitch it's about important. It. Like that's no, like, that makes so, sense. Like, that's when Harry to, becomes to demean Draco un- unknowingly <laughs> the master of like the Elder One. Interesting, right and, then, and you and know, then, obviously yeah, this movie ends on a huge cliffhanger of Dobby dying, and then that's it. You know, that was a really tough scene, and I think they 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 let it go for just the perfect amount of time. Like he I think we should close his eyes. <laughs> no, that was more dumb. Oh, but that was like, like, that was like Luna, like, like he's sleeping. Luna and Harry being like the two equipped to like deal with yeah. death. Like it, it, that's it's like, true. It, it's no, a it's nice, true. nice Luna moment, I think. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, she's yeah. I think she's I, like I think supportive, right. but very like respectful. Yeah, yeah. 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 And and not like me, let's me, fucking go. <laughs> means well as like funny as she is. Yeah. And and where are they again? Shell Cottage. So it's you see like I know the next like the opening scene is they're inside like the attic or whatever. It's uh Bill and Floors like cottage home on the uh, road. Okay. So, like, they, they all have they these have remote like, cottages. I yeah. like Yeah, and, and, and Dobby's death, I think, is probably, like, one of the most... Uh, it's uh, it, um, impactful? heart Yes, that's the word I'm yeah. looking for. Impactful deaths in the series. Not because Dobby's, like, important, um, but I, I think Dobby is just kind of a cute character. Very innocent. Very, um, you know... Likeable. Someone who's just trying to do good. Right, yeah. right. And, like, he's really not involved in any of this, and he, he's the one, like, he sacrifices himself. And, Absolutely. Yeah, and, I, like, again, it's, like, it's a little Dobby. Like, you know, he's a little goofy and, fucker. And you just see how much, like, Harry meant to the, uh, like, creatures of Dobby's stature, where he's, like, like you know, in the beginning, the fact first that meet, Harry he's, like, treats them I've like heard friends. Of, yeah. I've heard of, like, Harry Potter's goodness and kindness and all that shit, and, like, all the way through the end, like, the last thing he signs is, like, to be here with, like, Harry Potter and friends. Or friends, like, like, friends like, right. Like, all, like, that whole time, he was always just like, oh, you, Harry's, like, a good person for the Wizarding World. Like, he's a good person for Dobby. And he's, and he's, he's just friend. Friendly. Yeah. Freed Dobby. So, like, he's yeah. just, like, totally committed, even though he doesn't have to be. It's great stuff. Like, yeah, it's just a good, he's a good character of, like. Oh, he is. You know, just to have. Yeah. No, that one hits home. That one really gets me. No, it was tough. It, it got reading, me choked up for sure. I, I, dude, hard, I, I, dude. One, of, one of the moments I remember when we saw it was when Dobby died. And, like, that whole theater was like, dude. Yeah, and then, and then the movie just ends. It's a very like Infinity War moment, like the we like, lost when a Infinity bit. War, yeah. like you lose, you're, movies yeah, over. Or you could say like Infinity grief. moment is more like a Deathly Hallows Part One moment, really. Yeah, for oh yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure, yeah. definitely switch them around. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, like that ending, I like endings like that. Like the Infinity War ending was such a like, you have to deal the, with the grief. The dude. the font of like the credits, like the way they just no music. It's over, yeah. mm. and I'm just like, wow, yeah. And I like, like, you know, like, you know, obviously when like saw Infinity War for the first time, we didn't know what was going to happen. So like, you know, this, not just one death, but like, you know, half the cast of yeah, Infinity just War going, is yeah. gone. And it, so many on screen. Right, right. But and even that. You no could, closure end. I almost even feel like this is even harsher because you know Dobby's not yeah. coming back. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I felt like at the sure. end of Infinity War, you kind of had that thing of like, well, probably something is going to come Yeah, back. how are they getting but, out of this? Yeah, one? yeah, but um, no, it's true. Very true. Fun fact stuff, time. guys. Yeah, fun facts. Some R. some R. fun, Dobby. some not so fun. I will say. There's one that's kind of sad, but I feel like yeah. we should talk about because you know it deserves okay. it. Okay. But okay. first fun fact is uh, for all of you out there, Deathly Hallows Part One and Two were shot back to back at the back to back, beginning at Leviston Studios in February of 2009 and concluding in June of 2010. So it took them about a year, and they shot both movies back to back. Yeah. So uh, Lord of the Rings was the first one to do this in a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what other movies were. Not there, many do it. Like Infinity is, War and Endgame. Infinity War and yeah. Endgame. Yeah, we're shot back to back. I'm trying to think of like like was really Hunger Games t- or like Divergent or something like that. Like the parts one and two might have been like I don't know maybe the la- yeah the Hunger Games Mockingjay part one and two I could see them doing that. Yeah. Uh, Getting on to the next ones. Executive producer Lionel Wingram suggested splitting the uh, story into t- uh, into two parts. 
Although initially re resistant, director David Yates came around to the idea of eventually scoring J.K. Rowling's approval. Apparently, the original cut was going to be like five and a half, six hours long. Wouldn't mind it. Thing, but it's like, it's but then it's like, but then, I'm sorry, you don't, you can make so a three and a half hour movie then, or three yeah, hours. See, like, you, you, get, and I, you know, you know it's funny, more, huh? talking about this movie has like colored me up a little bit, but, um, but I still think it's like, this could have been one movie and it could have just been long and it would have been fine. I don't know. I, 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 I disagree. I think, I think lately, I mean like back, like back it the then time, it was different, but I think movies are like acceptably now allowed to be like three hours. Yeah, but no, yeah, but no matter what you think, you don't have the attention span for that. I agree. No, I mean, dude, people, if I, if I can people. watch the Snyder cut like no, once, but you, it but I'm longer. sorry, but you, Gooch, you are the, it also would have been longer. Like you Dune are the is three hours. Yeah, I get no. A I most agree. good movie. Well, no, that's most, two, no, that's two and a half hours. I think two and a half really? hours is really. I thought yeah, Doom was three. It's like two hours forty five minutes. That's like almost three. Well, that's ten of it's that is also hours. credits and stuff. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, you can't put something like the Snyder cut that's in movies and stuff like that. That's way too long. Unless you put in like a break, but even still, I I also think too many movies now. All today, I'm saying is, it could have been one. Too many movies today are like, we need to hit this two hour mark. We have to. Or else, it's like there's some weird connotation movie? now that it's like. Pray. I just watched that movie. That's like an hour and forty minutes. Fucking phenomenal. It's a clip. Golden. That's what I'm saying. Even did like, you watch it? Yeah, and I saw oh, so I good. saw Bullet Train. I did, I uh, that movie could have been I hour and a half. See that. Is it, it was it was yeah. good. It was a lot of fun. But I think half hour. Trim that fuck right I didn't, off. I, we well, don't need that. When, when like we, when we did our. Um, I actually went on National Theater Day to see that. That was pretty cool. When, when we did yes. our when we did our Skyrim podcast, I didn't I didn't mention this, but um, I for, for totally forgot to mention Prey. And I was just I like, did too. I was, yeah. Yeah. Like, talk about a movie that uh, is like female empowerment where you least but expect it. But that's not even like a female. It's See, just, I, I liked it because it was like a, it was like a, like it's just, survivor story. Well, but that's what I mean. But that's like just, in such a weird way and not, not posted as that. So it made it better. Well, no, it was just a story that happened to be about a, a woman that was great. That's how it should right, be. Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. That's what I mean. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, what, I, yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying. No, absolutely. Yeah. They yeah. didn't. It's it not naturally. marketed as that. Exactly. But it's cool. It naturally. Yeah, right. it did. And it's like, you know, it's. it's they just made a great Comanche story Indian, and made a great like, character. Yeah. They yeah. just decided to take these like ele weird elements and make it into a predator movie and it worked. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I wouldn't even say that. I think they line up very well. But we're not we're not turning into this into a prey podcast. Maybe we'll talk about that at some point. But, uh,. Another fun fact here for you. Uh, this is the not so fun fact. Uh, David Holmes was 25, uh, and Daniel Radcliffe's st uh, stunt double during these movies. He was seriously injured his back while filming, uh, like an aerial stunt. I don't know exactly which one it was. Uh, the the accident unfortunately left him paralyzed from the waist down. Ooh. Afterwards, uh, after the, after the accident though, he did take up automobile racing. I guess like hand car, like, mm, yeah. and he started a podcast uh, in 2020 called Cunning Stunts, in which he interviews many other stunt actors about to raise awareness about the risks uh, cool. that wow. industry faces. Interesting. Yeah, I will say like I feel like stunt people really don't get a big shout out. I mean, every no. once in a while, unfortunately, someone like on Titans that stunt actor passed away or, or uh, died. Like, Indiana Jones didn't something got like a, a pretty bad injury. Like, dude, like those Spider guys are putting Man their lives on the line. Thing too, or something where somebody got killed. What like was it? Spider-Man, like Broadway or something. I know. Oh, uh, I don't think they got killed. I think someone got like, like seriously injured, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Usually, yeah. when those things happen, it's like kind of like a. It like, is a bigger deal. Like, oh. You usually do hear about it. Shit. <laughs> but I will say the fact that that doesn't happen often shows at least that they're doing somewhat good of a job. Right. Usually, right. with and like a, you know, it is partially on the. You know, shit happen. No. Shit happens, but you no, know, there's. Those those stunt performers are like you know professionally trained. They know what they're putting themselves up for, for sure, yeah, right. absolutely. Uh, Jason Isaacs, uh, who plays uh, Lucius Malfoy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, almost did not sign on for this film because he was arrested and imprisoned at the end of Order of the Phoenix and feared his character would get little to no screen time. What? He begged J.K. Rowling to write him back in, and she told him that he'd be out of prison at the end of the first chapter of the book. So I guess he did this before <laughs> the last book was even written. Uh, what a like, what a little petty, uh, <laughs> like. No, I mean, listen, I think I, that's kind of petty. Yeah, it's funny that I he need to be back. I'd in. be curious how he actually like went to like. I feel he like probably, he probably please, joked. Please. He was like, "Listen, I would love it if you brought me please, out of prison." Mrs. I would Rowling, love it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so this was the first. The first Deathly Hollows film was the only uh, film in the series to not feature Dame Maggie Smith as Professor Minerva right? McGonagall. I, I mean, she's in. Part two, so yep. she probably it's I not wonder. like she got she has a big moment in part two, right? We'll talk yeah. about when we yeah, get yeah. to I mean, her. This is when she was in like the thick of her uh, treatment. Yeah, that might have been that might have been. Cancer. And they're really not at the school at all. I like that scene with Neville where he's like, Hey, idiots, yeah. he's, he's not here. Yeah, yeah he's not fucking here. Got yeah. a scoop. 
That's audience. great stuff. Uh, Get the fuck out of my train. <laughs> over 500 wands were created for this film, which were checked in and out of filming each day. Many of them oh, were brought man. back broken, oh, uh, suggesting man. that the, they were needed, either needed sturdier wands or more responsible cast. I was reading something like Daniel sturdier Radcliffe wands. apparently broke supposedly like a hundred, like an insane amount Dude, because like he would drum with them all the time yeah. in between sets. You're, you're fucking around with also, them. they like put them in their pockets. Right, yeah. they're, they're small. Like, like they're, pe- I, I would no, I mean, imagine it's a piece of wood. It's yeah, a piece of wood. Yeah. So like if you're like doing shit with it and the, yeah, I, 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 yeah, that just seems like something that's like, you know. Hazard of the prop. Yeah. Right, right. Just kind of like comes with the territory Absolutely. of using something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the scene, uh, the first scene, the the polyjuice scene where it was had to be, each shot had to be. Sh- each shot Whoa. had to be. The scene for the first film <laughs> for the first film where Hermione and Harry dance was written exclusively for the film and does not feature in the novel whatsoever. Uh, it awkward. is one of the director uh, directors. Uh, wait, wait, wait! You just went from the apologies potion. I know because I started. I I went down one too. I, I oh, got okay, ahead okay. of myself. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all right. Sorry. Uh, it's one of the director uh, David Hyman's favorite. Why did that say David Hyman's? Yates. David Yates. I don't know. Yeah, that's a wrong. It was one of his favorite scenes in the franchise, which it did feel like kind of a weird it, it scene. It does. To me. It does. It doesn't yeah. feel as friendly as it could. It could be. Could be. Like I think it gets friendlier, but at the beginning it feels very like uh, romantic. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Romantic. Like he's trying. To, yeah, it's not I don't that know. he's trying to like get with her, but no, like, he's, he's obviously not. You're right. And it just it, even like, if he did, yeah. I would understand because the, there's sure. like no, no. Here's why I would understand. That. The PTSD and like yeah, but I that's your that's your bro's hoe. Come on, true, true, true. <laughs> don't do that. No, 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 no. I'm kidding. The way you say something, I, I gotta get it in. <laughs> I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get I it. I might die. <laughs> so filming the the seven Harry scene was so complex that Daniel Radcliffe had to do ninety takes for each single shot. Holy shit! Because yeah, I think I mean yeah, it's just him doing every line for everyone. So they just have to, and then they pop him back in. And Those scenes just, are I wonder, always I usually I wonder very if that, stand-ins. Yeah, like, exactly. I think, I think when I was watching that, I'm like, I wonder if that was fun for him. Sounds like it wasn't. It's probably not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You but, dress and undress and like, and he's in a bra. He has to wear this. Yeah. Like but it's also it's just bra. more sure. It's funny. He probably doesn't even give a shit about and that. It's just the, the length voice. of like, all right, yeah. I need to do this eighty times with and different shots. Voiceover. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, that is complicated. But that does it for the fun facts, guys. There, uh, it was, it's funny. It's kind of hard to find like differentiating facts for like. It's all Deathly Hollows broad. Like yeah, it's like yeah. over in this film, but I think those were all to do with this. Oh yeah, there was one other one that I saw that I took out, thinking he wasn't in this movie, but he is at the end. Grip Hook. Or uh, yeah. he was played by uh, Ver- Vernon Troyer. Vernon Troyer, yeah, yeah. the mini me yeah. in the earlier yeah, yeah. ones, and in this one, yeah, no, since he passed, yeah, yeah. he was he was played by. Uh, oh, it's a different guy. It's a different guy. Vernon Troyer's dead at this point. Yes, point. Yeah. it's oh, played wow. by the guy who know does. Uh, he's like all of the. Yeah, he's gonna, isn't he going to be that? What's his name? He, he's in Willow Davis? and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Warwick Davis. Warwick yes, 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 yeah. yes. But uh, yeah, guys, that does it for our fun facts and Deathly Hollows Part One. We'll get into the rankings though if we can. I guess we can go high tier, low tier, whatever we're feeling first. Gooch, what do you think? Mid tier movie. All right, Casey. I'll say a high tier movie. <sighs> I'd say high tier movie as well. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'm at that. So that was one of the easier ones for me to just for sure. Just kind of so pop in, down. in our ranking all, Penza put it mid ground. Yeah, Should, we'll t- we'll get his we'll get his two cents gonna, on the next one. But but, anything, but yeah. t- for the sake of while we do this, let's. So how many how many movies do we well, have? No, so we're just gonna vote. We're gonna vote like we normally do. We're not gonna make we'll this complicated. It. But, we have. Okay, I'll okay, read okay. off the list we'll now. Okay, so okay. at number one, we got Order of Phoenix. Number two, Prisoner of Azkaban. Number three, Half Blood Prince. Number four, Goblet of Fire. Number five, Chamber of Secrets. Number six, The Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, so do we'll just do the raise hands normal. Do we believe this is better than The Sorcerer's Stone? Raise your hand. All right, Gooch is already out. Uh, do we believe that this is better than Chamber of Secrets? I definitely do. Mm-hmm. Do we believe this is better than Goblet of Fire? I'm gonna have to stop there. I think that's where. Casey, we're, down? You down? Are you down or are you up here? Oh, let it fire. Fun. Come on. Fuck. That's a hard <laughs> one. That might be like a tie. I don't know. I can't say yes. So, I'll have so, to well, put it so down. all right. I'll there. Put it down. Hopefully, Penzo proves. <laughs> Let me see this. This is how we have him right. Fuck. <laughs> it's fun to. I forget, I put, I see. I think what 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 I'm thinking about doing I haven't decided exactly yet. Maybe we can all read off our like get it oh, together I, I our personal list at the end of, at the yeah. end of 7. I was thinking I would want Deathly Hallows above like number 3. Yeah, I know what you mean. You'd like it but, you, but you don't necessarily want it above Goblet like of Fire, I think right now. That's yeah. Ground. yeah. So, but I'll leave it where it's at. As the list stands and we have a bit of an asterisk here of of course because Pens is in here. Mm-hmm. But uh number 1 is Order of Phoenix, number 2 is Prisoner of Azkaban, number 3 is Half Blood Prince, number 4 Goblet of Fire, number five, Deathly Hollows, part one, yeah. 
number six, Chamber of Secrets, and number seven, The Sorcerer's Stone. It's so tough because like, really this is. does not reflect my my. Well, that's the thing. Book order. This so is yeah, the broad, like This is the consensus the vote. Yeah, right. We will give you all our personal rankings of these movies. I think at the end yeah. uh, on I'm, the on the I'm, last one here. Yeah. Uh, but guys, I think that does it for us here today. Yeah. That yeah. does, in fact, wrap us up, guys. Thank you for listening or watching on YouTube.com slash Duckwinter Network or on your favorite podcast service wherever you get your podcast. You can find us on Facebook.com slash Duckwinter Network. <laughs> At uh, Delco Nerds on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can also join our Discord, which is in the description of every podcast. You're going to find all this information at, sorry, www. Well, yeah, at, mm-hmm. at www.delconerdnetwork.com. Please, guys, use our email at, uh, what's up with the at? Delco Nerds at gmail.com for questions, comments, anything. Thanks for the good agree. We love to hear from you. Don't forget to, you know, uh, leave a rating on whatever podcast service you're watching. If you can do that, five stars. Likes always help on, whatever the, fa- description, on the YouTube. Comments on the YouTube, mm-hmm. likes, uh, whatever. Reviews. Um, yeah. yeah, this has been the penultimate ep- uh, episode of our Harry Potter Rewind series, our longest one yet. We have one more. And that's it. That's and it. then I do want to reconvene this group for Hogwarts Legacy. That was an obvious. Yeah, I know. Sure, I don't think that. I've like mentioned that, but like yeah. what, we we got that, it. That's spring. That's the yeah, February next year, I think. Okay. Yeah. So, so we got a little bit, but yeah. that'll be that'll be fun to come back and talk absolutely. Some hoggy, 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 hoggy warts. Uh, yeah, yeah. What did uh, <laughs> uh, defining Duke? Uh, they they labeled Hogwarts the short net hog leg. <laughs> hog leg. I love it. Okay. Awesome. But yeah. Cool. For Trio, for Casey, I'm Gooch. Thank you for watching or listening. Stay nerdy, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, R. guys. R.I.P. Dobby.